What is going on, TSP Nation? And welcome to another week and another episode of TSP, episode 158. This week, we have a loaded episode yet again, and we are joined by the one and only Snack God, and that's the Snack God. Remy, the Snack God from TikTok, joins us, TSP boys, for 158. Remy has built and continues to build his snack empire on TikTok with over 238.5 thousand and counting followers and 4.9 million and counting likes. We had an amazing time getting to know Remy, not only the TikToker, but the person as well. We obviously talked all things snacks and drinks, his music career, and also his upcoming move from Florida, the Sunshine State, to the bluegrass roots of Kentucky. As always, we go around the mill, and this week we have a few topics, starting off with a better who placed a $1 million bet on some action football. And speaking of millions, the Las Vegas Sphere in the first quarter has recorded a $100 million loss, and the CFO has resigned. Trouble in Ann Arbor as scandal is afoot, and Jim Harbaugh has just recently got suspended three games, and it will affect one of the biggest rivalries in sports. And Adam22 and his wife Lena the Plug are at it again, and you know the saying, they're not going back. They're actually going for some more. Adam22 is going to be creating a reality TV show where the grand prize is fucking his wife. And we wrap it all up with the D-Lo Lock of the Week. This week is going to consist of some action on Wednesday night between Toledo and Bowling Green State University. Stay tuned to find out what that pick will be. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us tremendously with the algorithms for YouTube and getting out to newer listeners and viewers. Uh, if you have already, thank you so much. Leave comments down below. Of Any feedback is definitely helpful uh, going forward to make a better viewing and listening experience for you, the listener. Uh, enjoy this episode. Like I said, it's a loaded one. Stay strapped in and enjoy the show. You are now tuned in. You are now tuned in. You are now tuned in. You are now tuned. You are now tuned in to the TSP. Got the game in our hand like a PSP. Bob Dylan Joe, one hell of a show. All the mother podcasts, let it go. That shit that y'all recording, born, got a snore. TSP hitting like T early in the morning. Been doing all things since 2019. Pay respect, bow down, baby, kiss the ring. Take a second, enjoy the moment. You witnessing greatness. Still welcome if you knew, forgiving your lateness. You streaming in your car, then let it ride. If you want the YouTube, like the video, subscribe. Yes, sir. TSP episode 158. I'm your host, Bobby Hall. And with me, as always, we got the young gunner, D'Lo. And we got the v young vet, Joe the Greek. What's going on, my boys? Going on, fellas. I called you young this week, so. <laughs> you talking vet. to him or me? What do you think? I called him young last week. Called you the old boy or whatever, so I, I well, like, mean, right. call you young ancient. Vet. I remember young vet. <laughs> ancient. Call me gray and dusty. <laughs> you fucking ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Should I be offended by that? I'm not, but I should I be? No, nah, no. I got more gray than you do. It's crazy. Hell yeah! Take your vitamins, dude. I do. I, I mean, gotta take my Flintstones. Whatever you got to do, man. Whatever you got to do, get the vitamins in there and make it happen. Yeah, what's up with um, you, salt and pepper? What'd you do last week? I got a haircut, as you can see. Boy, looking fucking suave as a motherfucker, Oof. man. I needed it. I was, I was okay. helmet, helmet time and had to get it, had to get it uh, trimmed up. You got to like get my haircut. Sorry, go ahead, Dylan. No, I was just going to say, you got it like a dedicated barber, don't you? Yeah, Pat, for 30 years, man. That's impressive. He knows that years. scalp, that's for sure. Yeah, I just go in and be like, let me get the usual. I've been saying that for <laughs> probably 25 years. Is that's it like wild. cash only? Yeah. That's that's when yeah. you know you're at the right spot. If the barber doesn't take card, it's probably going to be a good haircut. Same thing with the food. If it's delivered I mean, in styrofoam, it's probably going to be good. They're in their mid to late 70s. So I don't know how. I, I really thought they were going to hang it up 
you know i've been cutting like this since the war i think it's just that's one of those situations where like i think they just would be bored as hell you know my barber doesn't speak english it's amazing is that's a Syrian tells, dude named where, Yasser. Um, tell sign where you're, you know, gonna get a good cut. He what just like here? he touches the sides and he's like f- finger. And he does this or like, <laughs> and then he'll he'll go like this on my face, like you know. And I'm like, yep, <laughs> done. That's all, that's all it takes. You guys it's have great. that barber that uh, does pretty much everything. Like you see yeah. those ones like videos on social media. I forget what the guy's name is, but he's pretty famous for it. But he goes like fucking 120 percent on these. Yeah, dude, I leave there feeling like salon. a salon. I feel like a real pretty bitch when I leave. Okay, he does my the face exfoliated. Now nah, he does like the waxing in the nose and ears. Uh, the you know straight razor shave fixes my <laughs> unibrow. Uh, like you know. <laughs> Yeah, this guy does it all on social media, like to the point where people are saying that these people are getting a full factory reset. So (laughs) that's what it feels like. (laughs) I don't get my neck cracked, but I get everything else. It's incredible. Yeah, I go. I just go to Great Clips, so that's a free plug there. They usually have good (laughs) good discounts, and this one particular lady uh, does it does it well. Now, do you talk to your barber? Yeah. No, he can't. He can't. But I, yeah, of course. (laughs) <laughs> I'm telling you, he has like eight English words. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm no bullshit. It's, it's thank you and you know one two, shave whack shit like that. He doesn't talk. Cause I'll even I try to strike up conversation. He's like no English, and he apologizes often for not being able to speak English. But it's, <laughs> I don't care. Whatever, man. Do your thing. He's doing a good job. Hey, it works, Dylan. Yeah. I mean, I gotta know, man. How- how has your week been? Because as we were just talking about Sunday Sunday night, um, you were in an absolute tailspin. Um, I haven't seen that side of you in, I don't know, it's fucking four or five it, years. Dude. Yeah, you were, um, like you said, you were down bad, and I fully agree. Yeah, I'm down bad. And it's not just like, I don't feel like it's bad bets. It's just the way I'm losing those bets. All right, down one more leg to go. Just three fucking yards is all I needed. From someone who averages like 80 plus yards a game, I just needed 60. And he only got like, no, I needed 70. And then he got like, what, 63 or 67? And uh, yeah, it was bad. I mean, that would have You're also saved. making a 35 leg parlay most of the times. So. That's not true. That's. <laughs> yeah, you're right, 34, whatever. <laughs> no. It's usually like uh, I I do some wild ones, but I never like put money like big money on that. It's usually like a dollar to win like a hundred or something like that. You know, some like crazy odds stuff. Yeah, like, but that. like if like a bet that the odds say like minus one hundred four, make that makes you sick. You know what I mean? You gotta see plus. Yeah, I gotta see oh, yeah. plus ten thousand minimum. <laughs> so plus <12K. laughs> I mean, that's before I put the profit boost. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm down glad you're bad. All right. I'm glad you're all right. I'm down bad. Uh, um, 800 gambler will be on the speed dial very shortly. Why don't you tell him how many like times we like sent that I, number I in the group chat your, on your behalf? <laughs> yeah. I really was. I we really, send really it once a week. It. Yeah, it's fucked. Because <laughs> I, you know, I, I I game weekly as well, and um, you know, I'm not I'm not some fucking sharp by any means, but. I've never had that kind of reaction. I'll kind of have like a five minute, like, God damn it, man. Like just now, you know, the, the South Paul long dick ladder, it died because uh, of Scotty Barnes. And, but it is what it is, you know, on to the next one. But um, got a couple of things though. We, we have a guest this week, which I'm very excited about. Um, he's the snack God. But uh, before got that, a couple questions of the things that was exciting was, uh, you know, we had a big election in our state doesn't really affect us three unfortunately as of now who knows maybe some miracle happened down the line probably not but it's still good for those that that partake issue two passed you know we now uh, have uh, legalized recreational marijuana in the state of ohio which is something that should have happened a decade ago but it is what it is better you know late than never and uh unfortunately (laughs) All those stores that are right there on the line in Monroe, they're about to go bye bye. Because I think <laughs> yeah. I would say seventy five minute of drive <laughs> was coming from Toledo. Yeah, and that's it's over for them. So, 
Uh, uh, I mean, plus <laughs> there's just, you know, as soon as you cross over the border, six million signs. So, yeah, I mean, they're, maybe a couple are going to survive. But my favorite one's the House of Dank. When I see that, I was delivering a, no, I was going to pick up, I was doing a pickup right up 75 and I'm just like, God, it smells like reefer. This is incredible. The whole way up. Yeah. That meme from Toy Story where Andy like drops Woody. He's like, I don't want to play with you anymore. Woody's (laughs) Michigan and then Andy's Ohio, (laughs) Ohio smokers now. He's like, I don't want to play with you anymore. So we don't have to go to Michigan anymore for recreational weed. um, Got a good 25 years before I can join the. (laughs) <laughs> the fun but it's fucking bullshit we'll like dude. i said there, there some might be some miracle someday but like i'm not holding my breath i don't know why you but can't smoke was... a joint and haul triples i don't get it what's the big deal well it's the same thing for like they don't like you're allowed to drink alcohol with a cdl but you can't fucking smoke weed with the cdl like they, they i know you can yeah, test I mean, fuck, for alcohol dude, I, the, my, at my job we, there's been some motherfuckers that have come in smelling like fucking you know liquor. same so yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just, the only real thing for me is just my cab would be full of snacks and shit constantly, which would probably not be the best. You mean yeah. current well, situation no saying, anyways? No one is saying smoke on the job. Like There should be no difference between someone getting off a long that's day of work, happen, though. having that's a beer, obviously, and yeah. then getting off work and lighting up a joint. That, I mean, that's a, it should be the exact same thing. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Plain and simple. I mean, you, you could say like... They were allowed to drink. If someone comes in drunk or drinking on the job, they're fired. If someone's smoking on the job, they're fired. I mean, if you have to be use common sense and use it responsibly, obviously, like anything else. But I think it should be the same. I mean, it's never going to be that way. I mean, DOT has their head up their ass when it comes to that stuff, and they have no way of actually testing uh, if you're currently on marijuana or not when you come into work. But because it stays in your system for so long, unless they do like mouth swabs or something. I think that stays in for maybe a few hours, but even with alcohol, I don't That's think... That's the only thing tr- is, like, science is, is in our corner, so who the fuck knows what they'll come with, right. with in five to ten years or That's ten true. years. But uh, as of right now, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's a long shot, but, yeah. you yeah. know, we'll keep our hopes up because, that's, I mean, it's cool, man. It's, uh, although back in the day, you know, the thrill of the chase, when I was, when I was uh, partaking in those days, kind of fun, although... Uh, it, it would be nice to be able to go to a dispensary and not have to be on, you know, dealer time and be like that bullshit. Or <laughs> I'll know, be there or an hour somewhere where you know that you're 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 getting exactly what you're paying for. You're not getting shorted and shit. Because I think we've all went through all those fucking stupid ass scenarios. So, um, we'll see. But, I used to have uh, a guy that would eyeball it and always be over. I'm just well, that's, <laughs> I mean, yeah, shout yeah, out to I you, Will, that. wherever you're at. I know you're not listening. So I'm just missing my shake, man. Missing shut my up, shake. Talk up about the shake, bro. Let's keep listening. And now you wouldn't have <laughs> get to get out of here. Fucking four hours to get it. I'm gonna go it, from dude. Dayton to Ann Arbor to get an eighty dollar bag of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> you like carpet weed. No, it's fucking shake, bro. <laughs> Whatever. Like, you know, you know Dayton, that's they're gonna pop up like Monroe. I know it. You're gonna be able to get yeah, stabbed and order. a bag of weed in the same I don't area. Have it's to gonna go be great. that far, honestly. These like smoke yeah. shops that already sell like the fake weed, all that shit, the, can- the fake cannabis. I mean, they're probably gonna convert to that. It'd be a very smart business decision if they did that. We got a got a couple. Smoke I feel like shops they're probably gonna like regulate stuff. the shit out of it though. Where like five people can actually sell it. You know what I mean? That's what's that's gonna possible. happen. I feel like they're gonna be like, like you know, so they're like have up to two ounces or something. So that's cool. I mean, that's shit ton. I mean, dude's joking bro. about adopting kids to put fucking plants in their names and start growing at their house <laughs> and shit. I'm like, dude, you're fucking crazy. Um, I want to touch on a couple other things before we get our guests here, but um, big news for your boy is it's looking like next summer, end of June, uh, I'm going to be going back over to the, the motherland and I'm going to be taking my son with me and uh, I'm very excited about it. And awesome. I'm going to try not to get emotional about it because every time I think about it, I fucking start to tear up because it's just he has not met any of his family over there. And it's just one of like my grandfather died like a decade ago and they celebrate. Um, they do like a life celebration like every, I don't know, five to ten years. And I guess well, what do they do? Like 15, maybe 15 years. But 
they just everyone gets together and they you know you kind of you'll um of like kind of like a praying session type thing and then you kind of just you, it's a little bit of a get together and um i'm always saying that like since they do it only every like 10 ish years next time everyone's going to be in like their almost 80s so she's thinking that this time next year for the celebration will probably be the last time like the whole mm. basically the whole family can get together so once she, Cause she's going. She said she was going next year, and she said that. And I'm like, well, sh- like I, th- I should go. It, it's been like nine years since I've been there last, just because uh, the last time my mom and brother went, I had just started a job, so I just I wasn't able to get the time off. And then mm. obviously the pandemic hit, and Japan was one of the last places to finally like open up their doors. Um. So, and uh, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, Jackson's five, so um, I want to get him over there to check it out meet his family and stuff i think it's gonna be awesome and uh how much do you want me to give you for dragon ball stuff a lot hopefully (laughs) because um i ain't gonna be able to cover it because between me and him on the low end we're probably looking at about four four grand for me and him to fly there (laughs) fly there and back but that's on the low end and then you know coach i'm gonna be fucking stuffed you know you know in the seat eating shitty food and stuff uh, well, why'd you years, like? But, why you were like? Well, I'm gonna grow. I'm gonna be six foot five. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Why'd yeah, you go and I do wish. that? I'd lo- I would love to be Dylan size, dude. I would love that. You could put me in as a fucking carry on, you know? That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> I lucked out once, dude, and I got an emergency <laughs> row. That was that was the best, one of the best days ever. Fuck yeah! I, we got, I got well, you might be able to pick your seat depending on what you fly with. Yeah, that we'll it see. seems to but be. I was looking and like, yeah, the low end it was like. Fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars for a round trip ticket. Well, at least you're doing it now. Oh. Where it's like, I mean, I feel like at five you're cognitive enough to kind of have like at least build. Yeah, core I mean, I went my first time going. I think I was like two, and I think I did okay as far as my mom said. So, and you um, remember yeah, that he'll be and he'll be closer to because he, he's his birthday's in July, so he'll be closer to six. Yeah, yeah, you know, the only thing I'm worried about is like when we leave, he's gonna probably lose his shit because his mom and sister aren't gonna go. So. That's gonna be the Ooh, imagine that jet part. lag nap. That's gonna be fucking incredible to deal with. Yeah. Like time so, travel. But uh it's gonna be awesome, man. I I love it over there. It's like I said, it's almost been ten years since I've been there, so I can't wait to go. And it's just be really cool for him to check it out. And um yeah, man. I can't I can't I can't wait. But uh the only other thing I wanted to bring up too before we, we jump is uh and it's one of those things where I'll believe it when I see it. But Rockstar themselves said December we're getting the GTA six trailer and I don't believe that shit. But like I said, I'll believe it when I see it. It came from the source though, so not just some rando on Twitter. So fingers crossed that, you know, I've been about three, four, five weeks. We'll at least get a trailer, but you know, at the end it'll say ten, twenty, fucking twenty six or some shit. L O L on text on the end of it. Yeah. Or Sons you know, of bitches. 10, 20, question mark, question mark. But we'll see. We're, it seems like we're getting closer. We, we had brought this up, I, th- I think, maybe in season five, talking about how it's been, what, 12, 13 years since yeah. five. I think it's been. Out, so. When did GTA 5? I think 13, I want to say. Yeah, I think you're right. Or there have been some uh, leaks. September 17th, 2013, yeah. yeah 2013. Okay. So 10 years, and leaks. it'll probably be what 12 years probably when the, when it actually comes out so but uh other than that dylan uh <laughs> i've seen your your one of your tweets this week talking about uh i don't know these these sex worker bots they're they're your, they're your only <laughs> audience these days yeah, i'm about? fucking shadow banned you, to my actual followers like, i feel like liking yeah. liking shit you shouldn't be no no <laughs> i don't have that i don't have that problem it's funny because I've I've noticed that. And I, and the that funny thing too. is, like, I went and looked at a couple of your tweets, and it'll say like two, three likes, and you click on them, and it's it's all, yes. all that it is. It so is. It's like Dylan's out here, fucking. Your algorithm crazy, is man. attracting sex robots. That you're telling me. I don't know, Elon. Yeah, what's does. going on? I thought you were supposed to get rid of these bots, buddy. It's not happening. It's I don't Sherman know. I mean... is a sophisticated sex robot. <laughs> back in time. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. 
<laughs> but it does. I mean, like, there's something going on because, like, it would be the most innocuous tweet ever. Like a, a simple reply of like something Browns related or something like that. Like sports, yeah. whatever or the one case of your is. Many gambling tweets, but they they love yeah. it. They eat it up. Yeah, they love failures, I guess. But uh, it's it, they instantly, instantly just like They're it up. They're probably like. Well, the way this guy throws away money gambling, maybe he'll throw it away <laughs> me and my OnlyFans. Or it seems like he has a, a couple extra bucks. Yeah, yeah, they got him figured out. Well, they're not even real. Yeah. I mean, like at least build up your following, make it look a little bit more realistic. I mean, they got someone that's like showing their pooch on their pin TikTok's pin like tweet. Worse, but like the the bots on there are getting like. They're getting, and they must be like AI or something, because some the way they like respond now, it, it's like a regular ass comment. It's weird. Well, they uh yeah, they got rid of smart. a lot of bots on TikTok recently because I had twelve or thirteen hundred followers, and now I don't. I think I've got like two hundred. I mean, I'm not seeking followers. I just noticed that number. I'm like, oh, what the hell? I can't go live. Oh well. And that's a good segue right there, because speaking of TikTok. Our guest this week is somebody that uh, I've been following for a few years now. And like I told you guys, this is the snack guy we're having on. This isn't just some, you know, snack dude or snack guy. He's the snack god. And he's been putting me on to some shit like the, the Cheetos pretzels that I was raving about a few weeks ago. That's that's from my guy here. And uh, he does it all. He talks about snacks, drinks, toys, games. He raps. He likes Dragon Ball Z. So it's like, I mean, that's that's TSP. In a nutshell, pretty much. He shot into got, soda. He's got, I'm very confused he's got on that. Facial man. hair, you know what I mean. So that's another thing in there. Other than I'm not repping you guys, rep the facial hair. You know, <laughs> shout out again one more time to to Julian's mustache. But for this week, <laughs> episode 158. I'm excited, boys. We got our guy here, Remy, the M and F snack god in the building. Remy, Yo, what up, baby? What's good? How you doing, man? Thanks for I'm, joining us. Thanks for yeah. some of your time. Really, really appreciate it. How you doing? I'm doing. I'm doing good, man. I'm stoked that you guys have recreational coming your way, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, it's a long time coming. Long time coming for sure. Fifteen I mean, years had, too uh, late. <laughs> we had the medical thing for a while, which I know that comes with a lot of different caveats, but I think it's from the sounds of it, it was pretty easy to get a, a medical card. Yeah, I've heard around around the way, but now, yeah, it's totally totally legal. Finally, man. Um, like I said, it should have been done like a decade ago, but. All these states have been kind of just, you know, tiptoeing. I, I don't think Florida will ever get to that. I really don't think like there's if it's been on our ballot a, a bunch of times and always gets turned over. And then like even the medical side of things here is is a joke. So like uh, you can get your medical easy, but yeah, it's super limited and restricted. I think it's wild. You could buy a gun before you can buy a joint in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy a, you can buy them at a convenience store. To, Dollar General sells AR-15s down there. Yeah, man. It's I, fucking I could, wild. I could definitely pick one up at the Walmart pretty easy. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nuts. Some snowbirds, man. Them snowbirds that come down there and live for half the year, they're they're voting no against it. I mean, you know, to, to be honest with you, though, like uh, since, since uh, COVID, though, like we like a lot of the snowbird, snowbirds never went home. They just kind of stayed. Like yeah. our, our our state has, has genuinely been – like overrun with so many people because with the like, Jerry's, we were, huh? We were one of the few states that like almost didn't shut down during COVID. Like people yeah. just kind of kept working and doing their thing and, and whatever. And uh, like I, you know, but yeah. So it's it's I I feel like we're getting busier. I I've noticed the past two weeks that the streets have been insane. But yeah, it's been it's been busy here. I feel like it hasn't stopped in a couple years. <laughs> so well, that and like cause you guys you guys don't have state tax either. So I don't no, know, yeah, we like do. Big... Yeah, that, the, well, well, I think it's like it goes by county to county. Um, and oh, okay. Like that. But yeah, definitely do. So okay, because I know um, I I I, I uh, watch a lot of barstool stuff, and like Dave Portnoy, he he moved he moved to Miami, so maybe it's different there, because like you said, it's county to county. But yeah, he moved there as a as a tax haven. So yeah, you know, because um, I I I um I don't know what our state type, but there is. I want to say there is. Yeah. So okay. I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 mean, it's different. All that stuff is yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, our guy Dylan here, he he lived in Florida for what, five years, four years, Dylan? Yep, four years. In the okay. And you were, you were there down there, there during during all that, during the pandemic and stuff. So. Yeah. Yep, when it started. And I mean, it was very brief, like he said, in Florida. We, we probably maybe even shut, maybe call it a shutdown for like two weeks. They like closed the beaches and they're like, all right, fuck this. Yeah. And uh, open everything <laughs> back up. 
And uh, yeah, I lived over there in the Panhandle area for around the Fort Walton Beach. So okay, yeah, uh, I I worked. I, this is yeah, th- that was right before like I started doing TikTok and everything. So I was working, man, and I, I delivered groceries for a living, and it was insane. So <laughs> it's probably yeah. busier than hell doing that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's probably good money at that time. For oh, sure. dude, it was yeah, it was crazy. I mean, I'd I would already doing it like for a while beforehand, but. Man, I I and I I had exemption to stores. I was allowed to go into Costco like two hours before they opened, and I was allowed to even be there two hours after they closed to like keep running orders and trying to get things to people and everything. It was it was it was crazy. So, yeah, COVID may have stopped most things for a little bit, but one thing it never did stop was the hurricanes. And ah. uh, if you have never experienced one, like you have, you you spoke about it in the pre-production there. Yeah. I've been in a hurricane. It was a Cat 3, nothing too crazy. I mean, the water levels got a little, I mean, dangerously high there. Yeah. Almost got in the house, and then uh, we lost power for a few days. But um, you said you had some house damage recently but with so, a hurricane. Well, like, I was here for Hurricane Ian um, in the house that we were at. We're not not in this house, the house we were at before this. Um, and it, we, we were, were renters. We don't own or anything. But, yeah, we were in that house. Uh, boarded up as best we can. Hurricane Ian wasn't supposed to hit our area. It was supposed to hit like above us. We were supposed to get a lot of the outer bands and everything, and it was going to be not great, but it ended up like turning and then like kind of came right at us and like sat on us for like a minute and then just like kind of went on. And it really messed up this whole area bad. Uh, that was that was why I wanted to move out of the last house. I had a broken window for a solid year. My, my landlords weren't fixing along with like fence issues and roof issues and all kinds of stuff. And then I moved into this place thinking that I was like, I'm getting away from that. And I, I basically went to the same kind of landlords. Because if you don't know about renting in Florida, it's like an 800 number corporation. Like you, I, I didn't even have to meet anybody to actually look at this house and rent it. Like I just what? went to this website. They gave me a code to look at the house. I looked at the house and then I applied on their website and everything was done on the website or over phone and everything. It's crazy. Um, and, uh, I, I yeah. can't even compute that. Like you just order a rental on the internet. Dude, like yeah, what? Yeah. So, but then we moved in here <laughs> yeah, not realizing that this place was still like, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm watching water leak from my back door right now because it rained today. And, uh, there's a leak in my garage and I think it all stems from stuff from the hurricane. They just didn't fix or, or like they put a quick patch job on thinking, oh, let's get some people in this house. No big deal. So I'm I'm done. I'm done and I'm going I'm getting out of here. I'm going to Kentucky. So What? Yeah. Oh nice. That is a uh turn of events, I guess. Giant change, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, what? Yeah, we're, and we're, we're going to definitely touch on that, but um I want to jump to the to the beginning here cuz we've had a couple TikTokers on before as well. Um and basically it seems like a lot of people's origin with the app itself is around uh, pandemic time because everyone was in the house and that's kind of where a lot of people found a lot of early success and how they were able to build up their page and stuff but when did you I really uh, wish that jump i on jumped there? on it during that time man i really yeah. do i regret not doing it sooner i think i started in 2021 if so it was like okay. a year after like everything um, and that's still pretty pretty deep in it i think at least up here yeah. it was like that but it was like late 21. So I think it was like November. I want to say that I started mm-hmm. jumping on and everything like that. So I'm coming. I, I think I either just hit my two year or I'm about to hit my two year mark. So, okay. yeah. Now, when you did jump on, were you immediately doing like the snack hunting and all that stuff? Or what was your like original? Content? Yeah, it was snack reviews when I first, okay. like, I, I think my very first video was a Christmas tree decorating video where I was just decorating the tree <laughs> or whatever. But I, I was doing like snack review stuff. <laughs> on my Instagram stories, like just like I, I, I'm okay. So I guess I got a little precursor during COVID. I wasn't just doing, um, the grocery, the grocery delivery. I was also selling eBay. I have, I had an eBay, so I still have an eBay store. Um, and it was, I'm very a collectible guy. I, I collect Funko pops and sneakers and all kinds of stuff. And, um, I was always hitting the stores trying to collect things. And then I started like really realizing there's a lot of limited snacks and, and stuff. Because there's even limited snacks that hit stores that are worth reselling on eBay for like a couple weeks before they start hitting mass markets and stuff. So I was trying to like research into that. And that's kind of where like I said, oh, well, like there's all these seasonal snacks and treats and I would find them and I would like do a video on my Instagram. And I had a few friends reach out to me like, bro, you should get on TikTok. You should start doing this on TikTok and stuff. So like that was that was the main goal was to get on TikTok and start doing snack reviews. I didn't even start like 
going to the store and snack on things, which is my most popular con- content now, like going to Walmart and finding new stuff. Um, I didn't start doing that until almost my like first year. I just started coming up because TikTok started doing that like this year, last year, you did this and you can kind of repost it. Um, and I just started seeing some of those videos come up. One of my like very big, like snacks, like in-store snack hunting videos was finding uh, Rick and Morty hot sauce. That was like a seasonal promotion at Christmas and stuff. I think uh, those fans are nuts though. Oh dude. Yeah. So like, but no, yeah, 100% got on TikTok to just kind of like maybe try doing snack videos and, and it took a long time for it to really become what it is now. And I'm still changing it up and I, and I didn't even get on there to start doing music. And now I'm doing music and yeah, it's insane, dude. So I, I love TikTok so much. I've met like some of my best friends in life there. So nice. yeah, that's what's up. Um, and I, like I said, there, there's a market for some of the snacks and drinks and stuff. Cause like I was trying to Google cause there's a, uh, I don't know if it still is out, but for a while it was um, code red zero sugar, which I know for some reason was only in certain spot places. It's regional. You Google yeah. it. You, I would Google it and like, yeah, there'd be like resellers where trying to sell twelve packs for like thirty dollars and yeah stuff like that. And I'm sure people out there that are really really want to try it are willing to pay that. But I was uh, I can't um, lie, uh, I I was reselling Prime and stuff for a little while there because it was insane. Um, mm. And then ta- ta- I remember when Tab discontinued, they started uh, like Tab Soda was uh, Coca Cola's like original diet soda. That was what their like like a first diet soda ever was. And they started discontinuing it and people were losing their mind because people have been drinking tab since the eighties, you know? And, uh, I started buying up 12 packs of tab and I was <laughs> selling them for like 60 bucks on eBay. It was insane. <laughs> That's uh, wild. Someone's like, I need my tab, yeah. bro. I need it. <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure I could probably resell some of the, uh, peeps Pepsi that I still have. Cause I bought up like clearance cases at Sam's club for like $4, a, uh, like $4 for three, 10 packs. Um, so I, and I, I bought like four or five of them. I think I still got like four or five, 10 packs left, but they're technically expired. They expired at this point, but they're still carbonated and good. I drink them. <laughs> Dude, yeah, speaking of that, I in one that blows my mind. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I actually Dude. have the Kraken right here. It's yeah. Like, what? Yeah. Okay. I see that all over TikTok. <laughs> I, I mean, I know what it's for, but like, yeah. What are you doing doing pop like that man <laughs> so like uh yeah I you know, hate man. your throat a lot of it was, a lot of it was sh- it's like just to get people's attention and to like you know like uh those that videos works. are blowing up i i didn't i so the the tiktok shop is has been a game changer for a lot of creators including myself and i already had so i look it's what's hilarious i never shotgunned beverages growing up like high school none of that i learned how to shotgun drinks on tiktok live from <laughs> gristle media i don't know if any of you guys know gristle at all um he does food reviews in, in his car and stuff he's a great dude and uh he taught me how to shotgun using like my key on live and then i cut my finger one time oh yeah to do it, and i was like no nah. and someone was like you got to get the kraken so i got a kraken and i had it for like months and i'd use it a few times and then the tiktok shop opened up and they jumped on the tiktok shop and i was like well shit i got one of those and then like i did that video with my brother-in-law and it just went insane it's like nine million views or something like that nuts, yeah dude, dude. And, that uh, guy he yeah. can chug beverages like no one i've ever seen in my entire I, life dude i still don't like know a deep breath yeah he just <gasps> yeah. inhales it almost Seriously. it's so wild um but yeah i know people request request drinks and i do i try when i try to do the sodas nowadays i try to make it like a zero sugar thing because i yeah i trust me i fully in the back of my head i'm like bro you're freaking chugging 75 grams of sugar yeah. right now. Mm, diabetes so, yeah <laughs> i just saw that in the one video i'm like bro what the fuck <laughs> well people don't think because they see all these videos and because i tell them i do this every day in my video it's like my my calling uh they literally think that all i'm doing is like waking up from like morning till dawn and cracking in pepsis and <laughs> sodas and energy drinks yeah. i'm like probably drink water like i have i have a I have a water dispenser in my fridge people are always like you don't have any water in the fridge i'm like because it's on the door man like, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> i don't need to chill it yeah what are you like drinking that. there look at this guy <laughs> i'm on his water here he goes mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah no uh cra- the kraken's been pretty awesome though and uh that, that one, i also had the freedom funnel uh which is a fun a fun device so, uh, yeah, i'm more <laughs> of a, a bong guy myself with yeah, this shit. Yeah. that makes more sense 
There's a there's some people um, I saw in the TikTok shop that are selling uh, beer bongs that look like baseball bats and um, uh, uh, golf clubs and stuff like that. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, like you just bong out everything, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> this one's a shoe. <laughs> I do have. Um, I I still have to open this thing. I don't know if you ever heard of the party starter or not, but like it's a like device you put on the top of your can and then you attach a one, like a one shot on top of it. And then you can put your straw in and then it kind of mixes like your, your one shot as you sip on it and drink. Um, mm-hmm. So like you could do, if you wanted to make like a hard cider stronger, or if you wanted to do like a rum and Coke, you have a bunch of one shots mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So pretty sick. There's, there's, nice. there's so many crazy like devices and things now dude 3d printers man people got all these ideas and they started making prototypes and yep there you are has a uh, they've been they've been showing a prototype of a metal kraken for the past like month and i'm i'm hoping that they make it legit uh because like i i don't know i don't know how much stronger but they're they're claiming you can crack in like cans of like beans or something with it or uh, (laughs) i'm like okay we'll see call your (laughs) brother-in-law let's do it (laughs) I'm going to bong the bushes. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Mm-hmm. We'll see it, man. That'll be some. That'll be something to... I'm going to throw up thinking about that. Just, <laughs> crack some beans, man. <laughs> Chunky soup. Yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. Clam chowder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fucking ideas are endless. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I think... You're going to accidentally kill probably, that guy. <laughs> Probably a year and a half, maybe two years ago, you you showed up on the FYP, and um, I think it was during one of the snack hunts and stuff. And what kind of set you apart, at least to me, was like there's a lot of people they'll go into the store, grab whatever snack, and head straight to the car, try it, and then give it a grade or whatever. But the way you do it is like um, you hit several different aisles, and it's not just snacks; it's drinks, it's toys, games. Um, you show off the fit, and you know usually rocking. Head to toe, everything matches the shoes and stuff, and it's just it's like a different type of thing. And it was cool, yeah. and like you kind of add some like go, you know goofy elements and stuff, and it's just it, it kind of uh, it, it sets you apart from the rest rather than like I said, just the regular old. Here's this snack A. I'm gonna try this. It either sucks or it's good. Try it. Yeah. Go on to the next video. Like you know, it's kind of like and and you even kind of moved into like uh more of like a vloggy type thing, which is kind of cool too. I've always enjoyed. Um, you know, I still uh, watch a lot of YouTube YouTubers and stuff like that. I do like the vlogs and stuff. So I'm, yeah. I'm a fan of that kind of content. So I've, I've been blessed over the past like year to kind of make this like what I do for a living. So like I, I was I've been trying to figure out like how can I kind of bring like more people in and show them like my day or like what I'm doing. And like I, I and even then, like, you know, the algorithm doesn't always favor us. So I'm always trying to like switch things up and keep it like fresh or new and um, have fun. Like I, I'll do the, the roll for fit or I'll do like sneaker Sundays or whatever. And it's, yeah, man, it's, it's, I, and I did the community is so awesome too, because people love to give suggestions and they're always like, yo, Hey, you have, you, you didn't, you missed this. You didn't know about that. Or they're all, you know, so there's, so I, I keep, I, there was a point when I started doing the snack stuff where I was like, man, I'm going to run out of stuff to like show or do. Nah, man, like, this is America. There's all yeah. sorts of terrible <laughs> shit out there. <laughs> yeah it's insane so what yeah, do you okay get... speaking of comments what like, you have good ones right what oh, are the bad oh, ones oh, what do the these people say that are oh yeah so like obviously like, I'm, a lot of people think i'm cringy uh which i get it i'm not for everybody uh but they're they're very mean about the boy my my brother-in-law <laughs> because like they just like to pick like in his old room he he was using a lawn chair as his gaming chair uh, <laughs> and like you know well, like, I like mean... he's, he's he's 23 and he really doesn't like care you know what i mean like and, yeah. it's, not, and it's not like in the bad way he takes care the funny thing is that, like a lot of people like I can smell him through the phone. I'm like, I'm like, oh my he's, not, God. he's not like, you know what I mean? Like he does not like, he he's in a pool. Me. Relax. Yeah. Like he's... chill out. Like, so people are, people are jerks in that aspect. But for the most part, the, the people that come at me, it's mostly about me being cringy or I'm too high strung or I'm too high, too high key. Uh, and like stuff like that. They're just, I don't even, I don't even argue with those people anymore. Or I just, I tend to just block and, and report yeah. and move on. Cause it's not worth the stress, man. Especially with those videos that have like when you start getting viral videos, 
They get you, you, yeah, you bring out shitheads. Yeah. Yeah. So. Right, Dylan, you were going to say something? I don't mean to cut you off. No, you're, you're good. Um, the viral video is definitely a blessing and a curse from that aspect, but yeah. uh, you said you might be able to like running out of shit to like review and stuff when it comes to foods and drinks. Uh, I know that also there's people that have like those exotic snacks and like they you see videos of them packing like customer snacks for them and shit. Oh, have yeah. you ever explored those options? Yeah. So now the, the, um, I've actually had a few companies reach out to me um, and send me stuff. I have I have a box right behind this camera full of stuff from a place called Exotics Only LA. And they sent me like two hundred dollars in exotic snacks and drinks. and like Sounds like a strip uh, club, honestly. Dude, like, and I, I it's, but it's that's that's the problem. Like, even this ca this cabinet behind me, it's filled with like there's exotic snacks, new snacks, old snacks. Like, I just it's so much to keep up with anymore. Like, it's insane. <laughs> um, and I, I saw that. That's why I said like I thought there was gonna be a problem with keeping with content. Nah, not that. Like, he's it's America. We are he, like yeah. America, <laughs> no, you'll be all right. Yeah, that way. <laughs> you'll be all right, yeah, man. There's sure. some weird uh, coming out. Cause some of them videos, yeah, you'd open like the snack closet or, or whatever, and I'm like. I like when's this guy gonna find time to try all this shit? Oh, dude, it's like, yeah, I, and I, it was like endless. I'll do occasional snack purges, uh, as what I call them, and then we'll just sit there. It's like a five minute video of me trying to eat as many things as I can in one go, dude, and then you, it, I just then I, then afterwards I give it to my friends. I'm like, come by, take what you want. Like, <laughs> so on your next house search, you're, you're gonna need an extensively large cat pantry. Yeah. Like, a walk in. On your list of needs. We don't need a walk in closet. We need a walk in pantry. Uh, walk in so pantry. Like I, got, I got the um I got like my, my group of uh snack homies, you know, that's what we we, we have the hashtag we, the snow we, we, we yeah, we hunt we we unite under the hashtag snack homies. It's got like eighty five million views as a hashtag, which is insane. And like uh we've all talked about we need a castle. We're gonna we're gonna get a snack castle mm -hmm. and we're all just gonna live together and make snack content and uh it's gonna be the best shit ever. <laughs> nice. So yeah. Are you ever worried about I, it, like I seriously I, I dude, it's almost embarrassing how much is in there. It's kinda like <laughs> dude, aren't you, I'd be worried about gaining weight. <laughs> That'd be oh, my dude, problem. Yeah. Uh, I trust me. Another thing that's heavily on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had somebody in my comments try to say that they've been watching me for two years and I gained like 150 pounds. And I was like, what? The <laughs> way? Where? Like, bro, like, I know I'm like, I'm, I don't show usually that I am fat, but like, I'm not like, I'm not. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm very conscious of that stuff, man. Trust me. Cause that, like, the, even the caffeine intake, because I was doing, um, an energy drink review a day for like a solid year. And people would always be like, the, do you, are you okay? I'm like, I, I drink like one energy drink a day. It's mm, like I ain't bitch drink. made. That's what I would have said. Yeah. So <laughs> no, everyone's, <laughs> a, everyone's a fucking doctor. I, everyone has a PhD. I'm, I'm walking. Media. I'm a walking cancellation. I say wild shit. Don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I would, I, cause I haven't had pop in a long time. Like I haven't had like a pop or a carbonated drink since like 2020 right so like i want some of them damn pops you're drinking bro i see them i want them i would break uh, my streak for a can of surge i think oh dude yeah um I don't 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 do man <laughs> don't put that heroin needle in my face can, the can of surge <laughs> yeah oh, that's what i'm yeah, talking about yeah <laughs> Don't give them my address. Right? Sir, Sir yeah. is one of those ones that's like come and gone a bunch. There's mm -hmm. a dedicated Facebook group to like keeping Surge alive. And they've been the people that have brought it back like once or twice. And I it's think they sell it overseas. I was just yeah. about to say, I think it's, it's some country. I don't even remember. There, there's some country that does still sell Surge. So I think it might, might be, be Sweden or Norway, some shit. Yeah, but it's not. It's not the same. Uh, yeah. Surge. Even even the one they brought back, it's it wasn't exactly the same because like I think didn't like the whole reason they brought they took Surge away when we were kids was because there was like a chemical in it that was like stunting growth or something like that. Like it didn't work on me. There. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you just pulled that Surge out of thin air when you mentioned it. A discontinued, <laughs> a discontinued drink. Kind of made me think of this real quick. I want to try to stump the snack god. Oh. Okay. We're gonna to try to give try to name something you might not have in the pantry. Okay. You have a can of vault. No, I don't. I don't. But I know what vault is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, they had the red one, the green one. I think that's pretty remember, much it. Though. Remember, uh, Jolt Cola. They, the, the thing was, I would say I remember Jolt too. Yeah. Twice the sure. caffeine of Mountain Dew. That was like their tagline. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. 
I had a friend buy a bunch of those off of uh, like Think Geek or some shit. There was a bunch of like caffeine stuff. Um, you're worried about your heart and shit drinking the energy drinks. We got this shit called Skyrocket. It was Oof. like liquid caffeine, and you could add it to drinks. That was the first time I felt a heart palpitation. I was like 16. Like this Man. is fucking nuts. There's only awesome. been like one or two energy drinks I've ever had that have made me kind of like, like, I'm, am I gonna die? Itchy. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. C four. If you've never had a C four energy, that is a very different energy drink. It, they they put the beta alanine in the drink, so it actually gives you the itchies and kind the of pre workout. Yeah, like, you're like the regular punk. shit is okay, um, but they got them like C four with like the 300 millis. That's when I'm like, all right. The WWE ones that they just released recently, they did a blue raspberry, um, and they did another one that was yeah. called like Power oh, Bomb yeah. something. Th- both of those, I, d- I didn't me, try it. Both of those gave me the heart palpitation a little bit. Like, Hell I'm yeah! Like, yeah. Like, on my way to buy one. one on my shelf. I went to SummerSlam Detroit, and they were handing those out because I, I think they just had dropped them. So yeah. I just got one sitting on my on my mantle. But I wonder I if you got a, a, a like a specialty can though, because I I bet you that it's a little bit different than the ones they probably put at GNC. Oh really? Okay. I would think I would think if they if they were it's giving like them the blue, away it's event, like a blue one. I think it's like blue raspberry or something. It's probably like the one they were they released at least. I, yeah. I would I would see if maybe you could grab one at GNC and compare. So. Well, I don't know now. The way you just yeah. described it, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I just know like they do that kind of stuff, and they're like like logan paul and they do like specialty primes there was one prime that they were just like giving away on the side of the street in california one day that was like never heard of and uh people were selling the bottles on ebay for like stupid amounts they have a uh dodgers like a dodger stadium bottle of prime as well and that there was the uk exclusive ksi prime which i think was like mango flavored or something so i see now that they just dropped they just dropped original but I yeah, tried it. that's only that? the energy drink. That's and I and I, yeah. I went to vitamin shop and I found it and the, I was like, can I break the case and everything like that? And she was like, I don't know if we're allowed to. And everybody in my comments were like, they should have broke that case for you. And I was like, son of a bitch, because uh, I haven't been able to find it since. So, yeah, I don't yeah, know what it. Ta- I, don't, I have no like, idea what it could taste like though. What do they? Wish... What do they run like price wise? Um, if the you can get them retail, three... it's like I think two or three bucks a can. Okay. Or something. Yeah, and that vitamin shop—they're always selling that shit like a doubt for. I'm gonna say though, them. vitamin shop. Um, when it comes to buying cases of that stuff, is always a overpriced. Like a case is like a twelve of twelve at vitamin shops, thirty bucks, and when they show up at Sam's Club, they're like nineteen or something. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, Yo, where are the drinks? I, I wish we, they could like sell. Did you see that solo with cup? No. Yeah. With no, uh... <laughs> yeah. Oh, the one liter solo cup. Mm-hmm. Wait, how sh- are you short? How big is that cup? <laughs> <laughs> this guy tiny? <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, it's a fucking double gulp cup. Dude, what kind of angles are you that's filming a, on? That's a, that's a giant running joke in my uh, my friend group is that I am uh, secretly short as fuck. But um, then, I go, then I go around and it, uh, it comes up a lot in lives in my comments, too, because the snack cabinet is very deceiving when I when I record. I'm prob- I don't really know my actual height. I'm like probably five seven, but uh, maybe maybe five six. I tell mm-hmm. I was telling people I was five nine because I just didn't know. And then everyone met me <laughs> in real life, and they were like, "You're not fucking five nine. And I was like, "All right, well, like, but <laughs> so I'm not I'm so short, but I'm definitely not tall. I'm probably like just normal. yeah. So yeah, people don't believe I'm five eight, but it says it on my license. So yeah. <laughs> I'm going with uh, it. I'm telling everybody now that I'm I was six foot. I've just been shrinking. So <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. wild. Yeah, man. This um, is a, this is from Costco, by the way. This is yeah, a, um, it. Just looks enormous in your hand. Yeah, dude. It, it, it's, 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 uh, it's reusable. It actually it comes with a lid and a straw, so it's like a tumbler. All right. Technically, but yeah, I just yeah. like dude. <laughs> The dude Ooh. pulled on the fucking Christmas solo cup <laughs> bigger than his head. The fuck? <laughs> That's fucking uh, hilarious. <laughs> um, but no, Good I was times. I was touching on them energy drinks because like I, I wish that they would come out with some of these with no caffeine because these energy drink flavors they're all taste fucking amazing, dude. Like all they these do. ghost flavors. Really, yeah. Um, what else did I just have? Um, I was another one that that had like sour oh. punch straw flavor. Was it Rise? Have you maybe. Had- a prime hydration at all yeah like the sports drinks yeah. yeah yeah so i feel like i feel like those are pretty close like comparative to their energy drink versions 
But uh, Ghost Energy drink is now doing. Uh, they, there was an, an announcement a couple weeks ago. They're coming out with their own hydration bottles now, and the oh, Sour nice. Patch Kids okay. ones and stuff like that. I'm like, fuck yeah, because yeah, they those are they great. do yeah. hydration packets that you can mix. But I swear they never mix. There's like something in them that always keeps. It's like that G Fuel that I've been trying to get to. You talking about the separate. the the Prime ones? Or the yeah, C4, yeah. No. I've never tried the Prime sticks, but I heard those are kind of meh. So uh, they are not good. Yeah. <laughs> They're three out of ten. <laughs> yeah, I, could, I don't know. I they, could. they didn't mix well either. Yeah, that's the thing is none of none of those powders that I've ever had tried they don't fully mix and uh, that now because my newest thing I've been trying to on on TikTok is G Fuel powder. I got a glow in the dark G Fuel tumbler and like a variety pack of flavors and I've been asking people like what flavor I should try next. But the the biggest hook that I'm getting people with is that like these things don't mix. People tell me they do and they don't like so everyone's been giving me their recipe ideas. I tried. Uh, warm water the other day like and then i tried using my my like milk frother thing and uh, a few other methods someone said that i had to shake for a solid two minutes i tried that uh yeah, put it been... in your dryer trust me bro yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, but i swear no matter what you do it like it some, some like with the hot water and the milk frother and stuff it did leave it like a little better but in the end it still separates and it's still there i feel like if you're doing those powders it's meant to drink in like a giant chug or a, you know what i'm saying like take it down in one setting not to be sipped on over like a couple yeah, i've been snorting them i don't know you're supposed to drink them <laughs> oh. <laughs> whoops yeah, i did have a buddy actually snort a whole pixie stick once it was pretty impressive yeah that was like every that was like the i was on a school bus once before that sounds painful yeah, well, my nose is still running. <laughs> Jesus, you ever snorted that raw though? <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> my boss listens to this. Shut up. <laughs> oh. no. I got to. I only found it the one time though. I, I got to try that the ghost uh, sour strips. And that was pretty solid, but I really like the um the airhead one. Airhead or not airheads? Fuck. Uh, uh, the warheads. bubblicious one. No, no, no. The Warhead, uh, Warhead oh. and Apple. Those two are like, those are so fire, dude. Yeah, but that green Apple. Like I one said, too. I just, yeah. I wish I could just drink those on the regular, but, um, you know, with, with 200 millis in there. For know, sure. They, they my, I, I, and that's why I'm, I'm really drink hopeful half. that those ghost hydration end up being good. So. Yeah, that'd be cool. For real. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but what you, okay. So was it the, Kraken video or was there something before that? Because I, when I first started following you, you were at like maybe twenty five, twenty eight thousand. But like I would say, within maybe like a six month span, you jumped into like the six figures like pretty quick. So you yeah, what, honestly, uh, what um, I was catapulted? at I think like eighty or ninety thousand followers around like April or May when I started doing the Kraken stuff, and that's what jumped me that whole like because I it was and it wasn't just the Kraken. Um, there was, uh, the slushy machine, uh, the, I had a, the whole series with those or people requesting slushies and those did really well. I have a couple of those that are like a couple million views and stuff. Um, and then, uh, the Krakens, I'm trying to think there was something else I was, I was doing for a while there, but yeah, I did the summer insane, insane growth. So yeah, those juggalos really helped you out with your Fago videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big facts. Yeah, the, the, that that cotton candy, because uh, I did I did a Kraken and the slushy of that cotton candy. And then there was uh, the Little Caesars videos did really well because they did that pineapple Pepsi. Uh, and I did a Kraken of one and I did a slushy of one. Um, there is uh, there. Yeah, there's there's been some some crazy traction. <laughs> so. I feel like but you just never know. I watch a lot of videos too, and I've always wondered what what's the salt do? Oh, in the, the slushy machine. Yeah, so that's just to get that 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 whole. You're not actually drinking the salt. So everything right. that I'm putting in the ice, the salt, the little bit of water, uh, that's all going in the center, and that makes the the like the the cylinder thing like super freaking cold. So when you pour oh. in the drink, the drink goes around the outside of that cylinder, and it just like starts like freezing it in a sense. 
So yeah, it, um, the some it's, it, there it's it's some scientific thing about salt, ice, and water, and then shaken or like mixed together really gives it like this extra crazy cold. Like it it, it drops in like thirty degrees in like a hmm. minute or something like that. So. Yeah. It, salt water just kind of reminded me of this hack. I don't know if it's true or not. I haven't tried it for myself, but you usually have like those other TikTokers who like see a video and they try it for themselves and it actually works or not. They kind of like myth bust it. But there's with this uh, gummy bear, if you take like a normal size gummy bear and you put it in like some a little bit of water in a container, put some salt in there and then put it in the fridge for a few hours, it's supposed to make it into a giant gummy bear. That's crazy. What? And, and someone that usually Recorded. myth busted or not, it, it, they confirmed that it works, but... I haven't tried it for myself, nor did I look more research into it to see if now, other people now had success. Now I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah, that sounds crazy. What? I don't know <laughs> what, what kind. It doesn't matter what kind of liquid. I don't know if the liquid. I thought it was just water. Because I know people that like soak gummy bears in like alcohol and shit, and I don't. I've never noticed them get any bigger. True. I feel like that doesn't even work. It, maybe. But it we said it was but... with the salt too, right? It was something about the salt added as well. Yeah, there's a significant amount of salt added so that, to it. That could so, maybe be yeah. the difference there, but hmm. I wonder because, like, I don't know, because salt is supposed to like take away water and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, so I wonder how that works. Like, there's got to be some kind of chemical. You gotta find thing the page that myth busts MythBusters. Yeah, right. Maybe maybe yeah, it, like maybe. absorbs it into the shit, like make it all congeal together. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got a couple questions for you before we jump into the music side of things. No, I yeah. Know. yeah. I'm, I'm, for the I'm people that book. haven't got to um, get into your content yet, um, I know we because we, we talk a lot of food on this on this show. Um, what are some snacks that you're hearing that are coming down the pipeline that people might not know about? Maybe <laughs> some some new shit. Oh man, two thousand snack baby D shit. Um, you get that, it all up in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm 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 trying to even think if there's anything I've heard crazy that's coming out, and I've been like because of all this move and everything, I've been so out of the loop. Right. But I can't think of anything too insane that's coming right now. But uh, dude, I swear, once the holiday stuff always hits, like January is like the month where you start seeing all these new. Because like it's because uh, every year I'm like in January, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna start losing weight again. I'm gonna start trying to get back in the gym, and like, <laughs> yeah. you know, because that's yeah. that that time of the year. But then yeah. like, nah, bitch, and they hit you with like all this new stuff, and you're like, fuck, I can't, I can't diet now. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> Christmas cake flavored ice cream. God yeah. damn it! <laughs> um, yeah, no. So I can't. I like. I, I know those ghost hydration. Let me say though, if anyone's looking for that kind of information, though, one of the best resources I could put you on to is Marky Devo. Um, Marky Devo is on Instagram. He's on TikTok. Uh, he somehow has like access to all. He's been doing this for years and years, and he has access with like. It's inside people like Oreo and these companies, and he get he always knows. That's where I get most of my like big like information from is Marky Demo. Great guy uh, when it comes to up and coming snacks. And I I think he was like who I first heard Cheetos pretzels from, and I was like, oh shit, I gotta I gotta be looking for that. So, um, but yeah, that would I, that would be my biggest thing. If you're ever looking for snack insights. There's so many cool Instagram and TikTok accounts besides like I always try to tell people I'm the guy that will tell you what's in store now and like what's available. And I can kind of tell you some insight on some things that are coming occasionally. But if you want those people who have the forecast, man, like you got to mm -hmm. start following them. <laughs> yeah, I just found his page. I mean, this dude's talking about Arby's yeah. is gonna, is going to have a good burger. Oh, yeah. That that's kind of sweet. Out now. That menu's out oh, now. shit. I, yeah, I gotta go check that out. I, he's got the little W ice it. cream on there. Jesus Christ! Yeah, you're yeah. right, dude. This guy's got it all here. This is oh, crazy. Mark, he's a, he's the man. Yeah, I'm mutuals with him. Subway's on, on about to sell too. sauces and shit. That's cool. right. Okay, yeah, that I did. I do remember that. I don't even have my other phone on me. I don't know where my other phone is. I because I, I could even with their pull Chipotle, up some stuff. Dude. Like I'm gonna buy Discord. that. Discord. And you know the other thing, you want, join my Discord too, because uh, the the Discord literally we have a snack news channel, an in-store hunting channel, like all that stuff. The, the Discord's pretty active. We have like 1,200 members in there. We're fully boosted and stuff. So um, it's been, it's a good time, and people are always sharing. You know, I swear, oh. at least once a week, someone's dropping something that I didn't even know was coming out and or existed, and I'm like, that's in stores now? What? So Another thing you put me on was um, Smart smart Foods, their, their popcorn. They came out with the, the B-dubs. 
Parmesan garlic oh, flavor. Yeah. That shit that was, one so at Club was so fire, good. dude. I yeah, wish they would have had a little bit more flavor to it, but it was good, dude. That shit yeah, was so dude. good. I agree. I definitely agree yeah. with that. That was a fire Absolutely. one. Um, they, when, the Doritos popcorn they did was pretty good, too. I got that in my cabinet cool right now. Yeah, I haven't tried that yet. I, I got that. the regular nacho cheese one. Okay. Oh, the, nice. I like the Cool Ranch one a lot. Yeah. Is there any uh, like other Tic Tac food people you'd like want to collaborate with or like that you follow? Oh man, dude. Obviously, like I think the the one and like I would love to meet Ke- or like do a video with Keith Lee. That would oh, be absolutely shit. insane. Yeah, real milk and honey, watch out. Uh, he, um, his whole like Atlanta escapades. Oh like, man. Wild. What a I, I love there was a dude who <clears throat> did uh Keith Lee's anger translator for that whole <laughs> yeah. Atlanta thing. Yeah, I see. Killer. That. That's uh, so funny. funny. Dude, I follow another guy, evil Keith Lee. He looks like him, but he's a dickhead. It's so <laughs> funny, dude. <laughs> He like this. This shit's trash. And like, we'll throw the food and shit. He's a That's dickhead. Amazing. He's so funny. I yeah, Keith Lee I is like to, the, uh, be the, the top with waffler, but I never got a chance to really. Yeah, they, his, his, that was yeah, crazy. I, I like that dude. Uh, I think it's Jordan the Stallion. He was like comes up with all the. Uh, I don't know, like the the myth type stuff. You look him up. He's got quite a few followers, a couple million, yeah. I'd say. But he's like he'll. Uh, oh yeah, you can. Order whatever breadsticks from I know this is a stupid one, but like breadsticks from Olive Garden, he'll like do it, or like he made like a somebody's homemade Chick Fil A recipe where you get like the salad in uh, a certain sauce and mix it yeah. together, just like you know, like I don't know, maybe some weird myth you heard from somebody, and he'll like do it, and it's it's killer. He's always doing some cool shit. I'm gonna see if I can find him and link it to you guys. Hell yeah, yeah. It's been crazy though the people that I have. Uh, Cause like when I, when I started like, you know, a couple years ago, I didn't even think I'd be having 200,000 followers now. And I've like some of the bigger content creators I have had like become mutuals with like hot sauce boss and stuff. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but <laughs> um, yeah, like uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm mutuals with that dude. I'm like, that's kind of mind blowing. So um, but yeah, I dude, I, there's so many cool food creators. It would be hard to, I think, even narrow down a full list. Um there is there's that one dude he does maybe that's who you're talking about um i looked him up he's got i didn't i remember saying he had a couple million for 11.3 million yeah and, that's more than a couple again? jordan the stallion uh like black dude always does like the zoom in come here like uh in the mirror oh i know he's talking he looks like donald glover a little bit doesn't oh, he yeah, yeah a little bit yeah yeah 1000 okay. percent know who you're talking about now yeah yeah because yeah. i just looked at one he's like the annie's pretzels is one i'm thinking of like oh you can just order a bucket of the pretzel nuggets like i didn't know you could do that and he's like proves you can do that i'm like oh all right that's cool yeah, he also had like one where like follow cake recipes like you'd be like a box cake mix and then exactly like, Don't follow this yeah, this is how the bakers shit do it. i've seen where like he made like some kind of like strawberry milk ice fucking it's always like a super i don't know it was weird but he said it was phenomenal <laughs> and i wanted to try it but yeah i know what you're talking about for sure he's yeah cool. that dude i like watching his he's got some silly shit on there sometimes i don't know he'd be one to get a hold of <laughs> 11 million followers i don't know what's happening yeah, god damn crazy, bro I can't even imagine one million followers. like two hundred thousand is already like i'm like in my head i'm like how like my, yeah. uh so yeah, and he's kind of a, a dickhead, but that adventure is an already a dude. Like, it's crazy to see like oh. all the different spawns of of role. Wait, for he's whatever. a dick though. K- yeah, to me, I mean, I don't want to speak, but like one of our guys on he's on TikTok, and uh, I don't want to throw him out of there because I think he's trying to like work I- into a relationship with him. But sure, he sure, does sure. a role for series, and like he was commenting on his shit like for however long, and, and he, he he tags the adventures already doing all his videos, gives him all the credit. Mentions him verbally, trying to like get him to basically. He wants to work with him and stuff or, or whatnot, and like he like would deli- basically, from my point of view, deliberately like ignore him and shit, and just like like and, and reply to all these other people's comments and stuff. And then I I called him out on it once, and he fucking blocked me. Wow. So I was like, Fuck this guy. <laughs> hey, blocked me. Just I called him out. I'm like, dude, my my, my guy here is he's like he's commenting all your stuff. He he's probably driving followers to his page because he's crediting him 
and they're right. all his roll four videos and he can't I think they live there. in the same state so they're not very yeah, far away either state. like I don't think they live very far from each other and this dude's Man. just kind of like yeah because I was crediting him, like, him for all of my uh um roll for fit stuff that I was doing too obviously because yeah. obviously he's, he's the guy that like started all that stuff but yeah, man, that's crazy to I mean, know. He might be, he um, might be cool, but it's just from my point of view, I'm like, this guy seems like he's kind of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you never <laughs> really know with that kind of stuff, man. Honestly, and I and I will say, like, I've run into some some jerks uh, over the course of things, and and had to weed out bad people, and like it's so yeah, you never really know who's out here trying to make a name for themselves. <laughs> So. Yeah, we. I mean, we've had a couple. Like I said, we had some people off TikTok um, on our show, and one in particular, I always talk about. He was on, and he he's got like I don't know, five hundred, six hundred thousand followers, and say his name. Um, Jay, his name is Jay Cyrus. Uh, he 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 was from like Vine days and stuff, and reportedly he's dating Doja Cat and all this shit. But oh, shit. he was on our show, and I was a big fan of his content when he was on Vine, so it was pretty cool, and um. He told us he was going to post, you know, his, our stuff on his pages and stuff, which we were looking forward to because, like I said, he's got 500,000 followers or probably more than yeah, that. Now. Yeah. And he not only did he not do that, he actually posted his appearance on a totally different podcast <laughs> that same day. So we're like, <laughs> well, well this guy. excuse so, yeah. man, right, I'll so pistol I whip a, him if I see him. I have a similar situation with a company, man. Uh, and I won't <laughs> say the, I won't say the name because they recently right. tried to reach back out to me again to work with me. But they reached out to me and they're like, hey, man, we're doing this promotion at this store. Can we send you some of our stuff for you to do a video and, and mention the promotion deal and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yeah, of course, that's cool. If you're going to just I don't usually charge for videos and stuff like that. If you're going to send me some stuff like that's that, whatever, we'll work with that. Like and uh, they, so I was all game and I was expecting it. And then another bigger creator than me got all of that stuff. And they reached out to me like a week after that. And we're like, hey, that that deal that that we're trying to promote is still going on in like a week. But we kind of like ran out of all of our stuff to send to, to you. Um, can you just do it anyway? And I was, I was like, I was like, uh, no. <laughs> like, can you just like <laughs> send certified check to my house or whatever? Yeah, That's like, what I would have said. I was, I was Son like, of a bitch. Know, if I really like the company, I'm, I, I'll rep you guys and shit like that. And I'm not even trying to like get paid or anything. So, but like, yeah, like it, that was just so mind boggling to me. They recently reached back out to me and I was like, I, I don't know if y'all remember that incident, but I sure do. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just like r respond to their email with that other email. Yeah. Right. Of, hey, can you just like do it for free or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, we had, to, yeah, I think we didn't even ask him to do that. Like, he came to us, like, yeah, I'm going to post you guys' stuff on my socials. So obviously, we were kind of stoked about it. Yeah. And we also had a, a, a different TikToker on um, who had just kind of hit it big on a video and, like, hit six-figure um, followers and stuff and said the same shit and, and didn't follow through. So, and then Man. he ended up getting um, his page banned for whatever fucking reason. So, we were like, all right, well, there's a little karma for it. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man, there's, there's some people out there that, like, and he's like that guy. He had like 150 thousand followers, or whatever, which is which is good, you know. But he was walking Man, around. I, like he's dude, dude, I shit. was. I'm I'm stoked when podcasts and people. I've been on two. You guys are the second podcast that's asked me to be on, and I'm stoked for this kind of stuff. Like I, podcasting is what I originally wanted to do. I tried doing it like 10 years ago. I did just like, do it. Yeah, I did like three podcasts. I had one that was on iTunes. We put you know found a way to get it on there with the rss feed and everything and um was uh really trying for like a solid year and then it went nowhere like like everyone that we did and i just you know gave up for a while and that's what kind of led me down the tiktok road so i mean i'm, I'm always like yeah you want me on your podcast fuck yeah let's go and i would definitely and i even told people tonight when we went on live i was like i went on live early and i was like i'm going on a podcast tonight guys so like i can't i can't uh you know I can't All right. be on late and shit like that so yeah, man, you guys have anything for this that you want me to like put on? The, I will one thousand percent. I'm down. Fucking. So. We appreciate I'm, it. But the I'm main reason was like I, I so. have been following you for a while, and like I just thought like you're an interesting guest because we basically your content like we talk about those different subjects on a week to week basis, so it's like it's a perfect fit. And you know, I'm a fan of your content, and and the thing that I've noticed is you're the same guy now as you are in, in your videos or live feeds and stuff. So. Um, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. Cause like I said, we've dealt with some people from that same app that 
are not quite uh you know what they seem so yeah. which i'm sure that's probably all across the board over there sure. or any any uh you know the social media so no i did i'm and i'm all about like fucking spreading out the wealth and trying to support other people and like that's what that like the snack homies is about that's what the discord's about like um and everything like that like so yeah yeah that's mm-hmm. I'm, that's super <laughs> shitty of people though like the, I don't, we're not trying to be like impulsive or anything crazy we're just trying to do something fun you know it'd mm-hmm. be nice to get bigger but yeah yeah this is our hobby and like I, and like i said like th- those people came to us saying we're gonna throw your shit up and stuff <laughs> like that so then when you say that we're gonna yeah you know believe you and, and we i even sent some stuff to those people to, to post up and then yeah either go no trust just, me i yeah, I, whatever, I totally understand how that could how that would feel even man. <laughs> like that sucks like no and, and and that was i never i never got into this even to be making like i know that i've said i've made the my, my money off the past year this is what i do for a living now and everything but i never thought this would be where i would even be that's man. wild like, isn't it though yeah like, so it's and i mean um, and i do it's more than just my content like i make ads for tiktok and stuff too so like it's it's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, we don't got to get any specifics or anything, but I, I did hear that uh, the creator fund's about to get the kibosh. I don't know if you were or are a part of that or yeah. yeah what is so, that about? So, well, are, are they talking about wild. the new the new one or the old one? I don't. I don't really know like the full story. I I some I seen somebody just say that like the so creator fund is. There's is been much... all kinds of issues with the creator fund, right? Like they, there was the original creator fund. You had to have 10k followers to get into, and it paid peanuts. Apparently, if you made a million views, you got 15 bucks or something like that, which is <laughs> it's, yeah, it's nothing. That's nuts. Um, so that was the old one. And then somewhere around like April, they opened up the new one. It's the creator beta is what it's called right now. So maybe they're they're going to make it more official. And maybe that's what people are saying. It's changed. It's, maybe it's closing down because it's going to open up the official one. But since that has started, everyone has a bit of a different pay per thousand view. They the, Their RPM is like a, somewhere anywhere. Some people make 75 cents per thousand views. Some people make a dollar twenty-five. I've heard some people even make like a dollar fifty, dollar seventy-five per thousand views. Mine generally is around a dollar fifteen. Um, but when I was getting those millions and millions of views over the summer, they started throttling my RPM. And at some points, I was making like sixty cents per mil- thousand view or something like that. Um, since uh, the past two months, they the RPM has been so weird. You also have to to qualify for these thousand views. You have to have uh, five seconds of watch time. So they've been mm-hmm. claim that what their I think their new way of getting around it is to be like, oh, you didn't have five seconds of watch time, so you might have had a million views, but only four hundred thousand of those counted uh, because you didn't get everyone to watch past five seconds. I'm like, there's no way I got a million views on a video and four hundred thousand people only watched five seconds. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like. What like uh does it just doesn't compute for me? Well, you're so, gonna play that bullshit. Don't count it as a view either. Then you know, just yeah. So yeah. yeah, it's been it's been it's been weird, and there's been a lot of creators uh coming out about it and talking about it. My I my uh I was making good checks on my views over like the past few months, and then literally the last month or two, insanely nothing compared to what I was getting. So and I, and I <laughs> like even. Like I said, I had a I had a sneaker video recently that has like seventy thousand views on it, and I think they're only counting like fifteen or twenty thousand views. And I'm like, there's no way. Like, there's I don't buy it for a second. Like, <laughs> so yeah, the TikTok creator fund is not it's not great. And then like the the TikTok shop stuff, like it seems like it's it's up it's off and on. Um, they they have these sales and they really push your content to try to push it out to people and um and I and I still get sales weekly but it's definitely not what it was it's kind of it's it's I don't know how to judge it <laughs> I don't know how to I've been it. getting like a lot more ads but they're like for shit I'm not even remotely interested in right like Transformers earbuds have you ever oh, seen that one I get those too yeah well, I don't I've never looked those up I've never no I'm not yep. into audio like. <laughs> I don't yeah, get and it, I mean, man. And I get it. They're trying to like push to as many people as possible. But even when you go in and say, because there's a way to tell TikTok, I don't want to see this content. And yeah, not interested it, or whatever. They still will 
feed it to you mm-hmm. anyway. Yeah. So. Yep. Because I, I, I watched some NPCs. live. <laughs> yeah. I watched a live with um, somebody. They were selling one of them like miniature, like little emulator video game things. It looks yeah, like Game yeah, Boy yeah. almost. And now that's pretty much every single one of my lives is somebody selling one of those things. And I've Ugh. hit not interested in this creator, not interested in this live, and they're still just pounding still me with, comes up. Yep. with those lives. It's crazy. but Yeah. Um, I'm hoping they can find a... They need to find a balance between it because I love the TikTok shop. I think it's great. And it's done some good things for creators and small businesses and everything like that. But not everybody wants that shit shoved down their throat. And there should there should be a, yeah. a good balance. So I bought a couple like shirts and things from like creators I liked. But I, I don't want... I don't want just like a random ad for somebody shilling some shit I don't want though. Yeah. Yeah. And that's I mean, why like, I, like why I try to make mine like part of my my content, like my fun stuff. Like I so like if I'm trying to sell a product, I'm trying to put it in my my review for something so I can so it's something that like elevate what I'm doing and not necessarily like me being like buy this product like <laughs> so, or else. Yeah. So and because like almost all of my cracking videos were like me just demonstrating how it works and you're like if you want one you can get yeah. one later like, and yeah, that you know makes sense saying? though like it's in line you know that's on brand i guess you yeah. the marketing people would say but like yeah. i don't want metal transformers earbuds yeah. i don't i don't give a I'll shit about me. that I, I've been where's my barbecue video uh blankets lately and i'm like, like <laughs> <What>? <laughs> A snack yes. blanket? I mean, yeah. nothing. <laughs> I had a friend though, and you got to be careful because there are sca- TikTok shop scammers, and I know that there's like they say there's no way to really get scammed, and there's no way in the sense of like if you buy something on a TikTok shop and they don't ship it, it automatically refunds you after so many days. But you can still like get not your not what you ordered. I had a buddy who ordered a couch off of the TikTok shop, and he <laughs> a got Barbie like, couch showed up. <laughs> he got he got a picture of a couch. So like yeah, <laughs> what? So, yeah yeah oh he disputed it trust me but like yeah it was, who's got the know. balls to do that though you know what i mean i'm saying why did this couch come in and out a double a envelope at that point so <laughs> <laughs> a wafer envelope that's what you I, get at I your told house myself i was like i'm not gonna buy shit off there but they had a 12 pack of um Ghost, Ghost Sour Patch Blue Raspberry for fifteen bucks. Yeah, I'm like, dude, that's they're usually the, like thirty five dollars. So I'm like, that's I got the one thing I, I will say is there's been some crazy good deals on stuff um, because they 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 give these weird coupons that stack sometimes even. Yeah, and uh, I've seen people like because they're they're. they're there's people who get things for a penny, and you're like, how? Like, uh, so I try uh, truff reached out to me recently um i don't know if you guys know like the hot sauce company truff yeah they're they're now on the tiktok shop and they're like can we send you some truff and you do some like truff videos and i was like fuck yeah let's go so i love that company man they're awesome what's and, your favorite uh, one uh i actually like their oil to be honest with you more mm. than anything because i cook i all saute like onions and mushrooms and like whatever yeah with, like the oil um but like they're uh they did a hidden valley ranch collab like a year ago and it was so fucking good, and I'm sad that it was like just that limited time only. So, have you tried uh, the pasta sauce? That's that's one thing I wanted to try. Pasta sauce is so good. I yeah, it's really good. It's expensive. I it's can't get down with the hot sauce. I've tried because I bought a two pack at Costco. I've been wanting to try it for a while, but like, it's a little it's kind sweet. of expensive. So I was like, all right, a two pack at Costco is about the same as one bottle anywhere else. Does it yeah. come with so, tums? I just I didn't I didn't really like it. But yeah, it's a little sweet. And uh, it's it's got a strong ass flavor, so yeah. If, if so you if, like... you, if you don't know if you like truffle or not, I always tell people yeah. like it's like funky funky garlic. So yeah, yeah. I like garlic. <laughs> now, why why are some of the best things that companies release are typically limited time? Sorry, I don't know if that guy had a I had a, t- a battery life thing. I was like, oh, you're gonna die soon. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. Um, yeah, I think you brought that up before. I, I don't know. I mean, who knows, man. Maybe, what were you uh, asking, Dylan? I didn't hear you. I was just wondering, like, because you said the Hidden Valley Truff uh, collab, it was only, it was like one of the best things that they ever had, but it was a limited time. I was wondering, because that happens, this seemed, it seems to happen all the time with all these companies. Their yeah. best creations, they only have for like a very small part of time. I feel like they do it as like a way to maybe tweak it or make it more available later or to bring it back as a limited thing. I, I, I am almost betting that peeps pepsi comes back for easter next year but in a different color can 
Um, and like, so Coca-Cola for the past like year or two has been doing these Coca-Cola creation flavors. So like every like three months we get a new flavor. They did the, um, the, the, the starlight or whatever the, they did that one with marshmallow, the DJ, um, they did Coke move Coke dreams or something like that. Um, Mm, and people, yeah, the, the people have speculated that Coke like takes like the feedback and then they can then tweak the recipe and then release it later as like an actual Coke product that mm-hmm. make taste better or be different. So, but I, I, yeah, some of the best stuff does just go away. One, do one of the, uh, I, I still want to this day to come back is Nutter Butter Cakesters. They, oh, shit. they I made when that Oreo was Cakesters <laughs> came back a couple years ago, they made Nutter Butter at the same time. They were only here around for like six months never never came back again and they were so fucking good yeah i was going to ask you that too like that's gonna be probably one of my final questions when we wrap things up later but if may as well ask you now that it's on the topic what is one uh drink or snack that has been discontinued discontinued that you would want to bring back i actually got i 100 percent know and that it would be uh berries and cream dr pepper uh mm. not not strawberries and cream strawberries and cream is the one they just released recently mm-hmm. but in 2008 i think it berries was and cream berries they, and cream <laughs> they made berries and cream dr pepper and it was the best dr pepper that has ever existed i remember buying up 12 packs of it when i knew they were getting rid of it they released it on their website as like a giveaway like a year ago and i was so upset i couldn't get a can but yeah so fucking good man berries and cream Berries How about uh, what about on the snack side? Mm. Snack foods that I I miss that I wish they would bring back. Well, I guess you just did say the the peanut butter or the nut butter, but maybe like I don't know if there's like chip, a chip or anything. The, I I do you guys remember when Keebler made pizza flavored like tortilla chips? What? Yeah, yes, <laughs> I do. Like no? when I was a child. <laughs> Like uh, they made. Look it up, things. dude. You, I think you might Ke- remember it once you see the bag. Ke- Keebler pizza chips were the best pizza chip that I've ever had in my entire existence. They're like pizza Doritos so or something. Yeah, yeah, man. They I look. Remember, they kind of look like a Dorito, but they were. Yeah, it was made by. Keebler. Oh, right. I do remember those. Yeah. yeah, dude. Yeah, those were good. Yep. Yep. They do look like a Dorito, but you know, they're like red, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, real red, real I think orangey the red. Was white, but yeah, they were really red. Mm-hmm. Uh, like that. Yeah, man, definitely. If they could bring Pizzerias. those back, <laughs> I remember seeing those in some vending machines back in the day. But uh, you can click that link. Let's, um, let's jump into the in the music side of things, man, because that's another part of, of of the whole thing I've noticed uh, on your page. Yeah, is that uh, you know you you spit some rhymes and uh, you do it pretty well. Um, I think that's another another uh, a wrinkle. You know, to the to the fold of, of your content. How long have you been, uh, you know, rapping, and you know how how that all start? So, like, uh, I've always wanted to make music. I, so, I, as a kid, I grew up. I was in band, and I played drums and keyboard, and a bunch of stuff. And um, I used to like, you know, make like, uh, like you know, I take songs and I would make them parodies, I guess, if you will. <laughs> in like middle school high school and that's kind of like the earliest i could think of myself like writing things like songs but then like when I, in my adult life i just never pursued any of that stuff and i kind of regretted not like going to college for music and things like that so uh as i got older i started wanting to figure it out i started acquiring things before tiktok like i i had i had um a little drum pad a midi like a midi mm. drum pad and like i was trying to figure out how to make beats and i'm not good at making beats at all uh and uh i then i got on tiktok and i i started doing the snack stuff and i started seeing people posting open verse challenges um and i was like oh well i could do that because you don't need you didn't even need anything at the time you just needed a headset mic and that had a a, a headset and a mic on it you could plug in by your phone and duet the video and just you know rap over and stuff and that's what i was doing for the first couple ones i think the first one i did was there was a chick on there named stacy who did a please don't text me when you're drunk open verse. And uh, it was so popular on TikTok at the time. And I was like, fuck it, I'll jump on this. And I remember jumping on that and people were like, yo, holy shit, you can actually rap. And I was like, I, I, I guess I can. Like, <laughs> so like, uh, surprised to me too. Just, yeah, it just, I spent the next year, I think I was doing like, 
three open verses like a week at one point and uh, just, you know, trying to perfect it and figure it out. And then uh, what I, I, uh, it's been a year and like three or four months since I dropped my first song, About to Fly. And uh, I've just been kind of trying to drop songs as much as I can. The problem is, is like leasing beats and buying beats is dumb. If you can't make a beat, you have to go on beat stars. You have to find a producer and then you have to hmm. pay for a lease and uh, all that jazz. That's, and, that's very funny you say that because just talking about I, I don't know that. if you heard our, our intro song. We just unveiled that a few weeks ago. Uh, one of our friends, he, uh, we well, Dylan found the beat. I think uh, it was a, one of those free beats. Mm -hmm. um, and so we had our guy rap on it. Shout out to Hollywood Sav. Hell yeah. And, um, the, the, the week we unveiled it on the show, Dylan told us when he uploaded the video, we got like a, not a strike, but it told us that somebody else, they, they actually bought that beat yeah. and they have a song on it. And it's like some no name do we actually listened to it before, uh, before the show. And it actually is not that bad of a song, but sure. um, <laughs> since we didn't no, actually like, buy it out. There's one or two of my songs I've released. If you go look at the sound on TikTok, um, it'll be like, you know, whatever the name of my song is I, I rename the sound but then it goes like in parentheses like such and such artist song with this it's because mm -hmm. they leased the beat first and mm -hmm. i uploaded it and and a copyright claim was made in a sense and like they don't they probably own it just as much as you own it to be honest with you but the fact that they did it first is what is the problem so yeah i'm assuming that um that guy just probably bought the beat or something and then right I don't know, maybe notice that we had it. I, who knows? But we, like I said, we didn't get a mark or anything like that. They said we can mm -hmm. use it on YouTube and everything. But yeah, um, every time I think on our video, I think that dude's song will, will pop up in yep. like our description or whatever. Yeah, copyright is difficult um, in the music game right now, especially with the, the beat leasing a aspect of things. And then even like people are like big artists are now selling verses. So like you can go on, there's a website you can go on and you can find a Gucci main verse for like, you know, mm -hmm. X amount of dollars if you got the money to spend on it. But then it is a lot, in a lot of cases, it's like they sold that same verse to three people as well. And like, <laughs> mm -hmm. there's so many like, the, yeah. So like making music nowadays is, is very difficult in that aspect. And I'm trying to figure out how to start like, Oh, oh, like working with producers or trying to figure out that because yeah man if you don't otherwise you're you're spending a bunch of money on a song that potentially someone else is attached to already and it sucks <laughs> yeah, luckily yeah, man. luckily music beats are like your pantry and they're endless you know yeah well and then if you find a good producer and you like you find a beat that you like for free if you can find a good producer or even if it's a beat that is someone's leasing or, or trying to sell um you find a good enough producer, they can recreate it to just right. like a beat a little off. You know what I mean? It's not the exact beat, but it's at the same tempo and it has like a couple different like elements. Sounds like a, a like vanilla a, ice problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but that, but that, that is a, uh, that's kind of like the way you have to do it sometimes. Uh, and it's, it's it, this way it's like, but, and, and there's almost so many people who are doing that with beat stars already. They'll take a super popular, like logic beat and then just, change it up and add a mm. couple things and you know now it's their beat so it's crazy yeah copyright's <laughs> getting nuts one of my yeah. favorite youtube channels is lost in vegas they're a music reaction channel like yeah. they react to songs and stuff and i'm pretty sure they must have gotten some kind of copyright thing because they just reviewed the new benny the butcher and lil wayne song big dog um which is really fucking fire by the way but mm -hmm. um they had to like chop up each verse and stuff to where like they play the song for like three seconds and then like yep. skip to another part of the song for like three right. seconds and so on and so forth. so and it just it was a it was a really tough watch it makes Usually, it hard for people reviewing. They'll, yeah they'll play you know half the the verse or something then stop and talk about that and then keep going but they just they had to chop it up so crazy because I'm, I'm assuming mm -hmm. to save their own ass yeah just made for terrible content it sucks Ugh. it's like it sucks too because it's like free publicity you know like you're getting a review yeah. unless you're i guess you're trashing the music which i mean Usually, ninety nine percent of the time, that's not the case. When you're reviewing music, it's usually good things being said. Yeah. But um, you know, you're just you're you're given the given a spotlight, even if, if no matter how big the spotlight is or bright, you're still a positive spotlight at that to whoever follows you and listens, and it could steer more listeners to that like Spotify account where it yep. actually 
matters to that artist. Yeah. And then like in some cases uh, with TikTok, they'll just mute your video straight, the whole video. Yeah. I've um, that too, yeah. I, was, nice I had shit. a song come out in like, I think it was January this, this year that I, the first two, three weeks I was struggling and every video I posted with the sound in it would get muted. And I was like, this is my video, <laughs> like <laughs> this is my video, my sound, my song, like everything. Like I, like, but it, because in it, when it was copywriting, me it was like yo your music copyrighted by you you can't use it and i'm like wait hold on <laughs> what <laughs> like, <laughs> like so, that spider-man yeah. meme where they're pointing at each other part. yeah yeah exactly. <laughs> and that's why i told you guys because uh, you guys asked if you know i had any music that i would like and i was like yeah if you can if you can like i'm not but if you can't like it's cool like, even just to tell people i make music and where they can find it is good enough for me like because i'm not trying because i i've talked to other podcasts before where they were like, I don't know if we can play your music just because I know copyrights click crazy. I know that's not on, it's, it's not on me because I'm not being like copyright these guys, but yeah, it's just whatever algorithm, <laughs> like the, the, like the auto detection is. shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, well, yeah, we do have well, that, a video we got, that sent. we got a video. Yeah. So, um, while Ooh. we're on the subject, um, before we, we play it, but, uh, what, what's the single called and, and when do you drop it? Yeah, uh, it's called Restless. It's out now. Uh, we dropped it about a month or two ago, and it's been doing. It's probably honestly been getting the best streams out of all the songs that I've ever made. Uh, one of my it's 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 song that means a lot to me. Like I told you guys, I've been making music. I was trying to make music before TikTok, and I was listening to like songs on sounds on YouTube's beats on YouTube's, and this is one of those that I was listening for like probably like two three years, and I had like an idea of where I wanted to go with the song, and then I met fell uh fell music uh on tiktok a year or two ago and we be we super close friends and i was like man you want to do a song together i can send you this thing that i've had in my head for a million years because i've always felt like it needed someone to sing on it or have some kind of harmony to it and i am not a singer and uh i so i sent it to her and she just knocked it out of the park and blew it away so this is actually both of our song um and she has a new single coming out in like a month so if you guys want to check out fell music uh, as well but yeah, um, that, that's, it's just, it's just a really vibey song. Like it's, uh, I, I wrote the, I wrote it while I was made, delivering groceries during COVID. So like, it was all about like me just being overworked and like, uh -huh. <laughs> so yeah. I can relate and to in, that. In this, uh, in this video we're about to watch, you're going to see him doing what he was talking about earlier, cracking yep. heaps, Pepsis and uh, he's got his brother <laughs> on there that's yeah, me, I got cracking the pops and stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah, it's uh it's a fun little video, but let's pull it up, Dylan. Hell yeah. I'm always here for the moment, but I'm usually lost in my mind. I'm running highs. I never thought I could, but I'm always high. Almost a night, but I'm known to jump on wax. I concentrate fine. I ain't giving an ounce of my energy unless I'm feeling good. One day I'll run this game already in my lane. I got the whole fam here. This shit could blow today. Now wouldn't that be great? They got me out here working so hard. That's why I'm feeling on my high guard. I've been killing this like a song, guy. Not religious, but I've been trying, y'all. Trying hard. Tell him to go stream restless, boy. What? Tell him to go stream restless. Stream restless? <laughs> good, good enough. Good enough. <laughs> He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Whatever you want, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't listen to my music. He doesn't even watch the TikTok videos. So half the time, he's just like, I'm just doing what you ask. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do real Florida man stuff. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 yeah, I'll tell you, <laughs> I, I'm the least Florida man, Florida man. <laughs> that's that's probably good. That's a good thing. I, I yeah, say. man. <laughs> yeah. Meth and that alligators. I enjoyed it. I appreciate it. Yeah, Thanks, it's man. definitely a vibe, man, for sure. Um, 
Who would you say are some of your like inspirations? It doesn't necessarily have to be rap. Could be rappers. Could be bands, musicians. Uh, that dude, like the two probably like biggest inspirations in my life. Uh, Kevin Smith. Uh, you know the the, <laughs> yeah. the man himself. Uh, and then uh, Logic, man. Like uh, like when musically, uh, Logic is probably one of my bigger inspirations over the past like five six years of my life. Um, cause he's just so positive and, and everything. And that's kind of what draws me into Kevin Smith. Cause like, I know everyone's like, Oh, you talking about Jay and silent Bob? Like, fuck, I'm like, yeah, I'm talking about, I'm talking about that guy. Uh, but if you know, like him from outside of his movies, he does a lot of Q and A's and like, uh, he, he goes and talks at a lot of things and stuff. And he's just like one of the most inspirational dudes ever. Probably one of the like the biggest reasons that ever pushed me to want to do a podcast was him and then like be creative and all that jazz because he's very much like get out there and, and seize your opportunity and, and seems like a real it. actual genuine person, not just I've like some him, yeah, yeah, I've met him two or three times, like for like things I paid for. Um and he he always takes extra time and he's so fucking nice, dude. Like he's really the most genuine person I've ever met. Out of like in the in Hollywood people, like because I've met a few celebrities and stuff that were complete dicks. So <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? Yeah, right. So I also get like a little vibe yeah. of like a little hint of like little Dicky in there as well. Hey, I'm a huge I'm a huge little Dicky fan. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, I, my top three uh, rappers: uh, Logic, Ludacris, and Snoop Dogg. Though, so like okay. I would probably say like up there, pretty big for me. But Dicky's definitely up. Dude, yeah, I'm a huge Dicky fan. So pretty. Yeah, I popped Leader in your, your live earlier, and uh, you had some uh, Nipsey Hustle, mo- Hustle and Motivate going, which is yeah. that's one of my favorite songs. So, uh, you know, you definitely got a good, 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 uh, good ear for some good music too. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm oh, a when it, when it comes to uh, like music I, or hip hop at least, I'm a, I'm definitely a West Coast guy like all day. Like I like some New York stuff and everything. Like Biggie's cool and shit, but. Yeah, I was I was always a West Coast guy, like Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, uh, fucking De- Death Row mm. was my shit back then. Like, so uh, you mess with all like the uh, the, the TDE guys too. Who's that? Like Kendrick, uh, J Rock. Oh yeah, 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 Kendrick. Like you and all yeah. that. Yeah. You know what's funny? So people have told me I sound like Kendrick, and I don't hear it, but like I'm like, okay, fuck yeah, my. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not a bad thing at all. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, uh, I was like, like I know you, you you've dropped you've dropped a couple singles. Um, do you have any yeah. plans in the future to do like a full length project mixtape? Man, what are your, what are your I, I, yeah, I would that? love to do an album. And like, uh, I did, so part of the big move that I'm trying to do for Kentucky, man, like Kentucky. I know a lot of people are like fucking Kentucky, like, uh, but. I'm, I'm where I'm going to is pretty like located around a lot of cities. And one of them is Nashville. Uh, so there's like, you know, Nashville's the music capital of the country and shit. So there's a lot of opportunities there, but there's uh one of my really good friends who wants uh, to be my manager. You were at, you, you, I think you saw that on TikTok possibly. Yep. Um, she also lives in Kentucky and she wants to help get me gigs and like all that jazz. So like, uh, I, I think that's the plan. The next year, I would like to start actually performing, and I would, yeah, I think I want to release an actual full album. Would be legit, and I maybe actually do it in a studio because I do everything in my bedroom. But you know, yeah, yeah I would I, like to. You, I would like to take it to the full level. So when you made your announcement about that, I went and watched her video, and it sounds like she's getting into the the managing game. Um, so I was wondering, like, does she have some ins on some, some yeah, stuff, or so, what, what's so her plan? She, for you guys? So Ashton is, uh, I'll say right now, she's been one of the biggest like pushes for me, even in my TikTok like career. Like, she's got she got me into the the ad program. She kind of pushed me down the like the the TikTok shop path and like a few other things, and like really believed in me and helped me get me to that point. She's got a uh, a law background, like a uh, and everything. That's where she's got a, a law degree and stuff like that and she's very like very smart when it comes to that kind of stuff like on paper and figuring and she's been spending the past several weeks trying to really learn the ins and outs and she's got a few connections uh that she's been trying to work on and then i'm not the only uh person she's taken me and one other person that's the only two people she's she's gonna take and there's a gentleman named peyton he's been uh really pushing lately on tiktok 
uh, really great guy and uh, makes some some a really amazing music. And uh, yeah, I just I, I the thing is is I have it's not even like the fact that she knows music or has a music background or anything like that, but more along the lines of like what I know she's capable of. And I have full faith and, and dude, she's, she's actually the biggest reason I'm getting out of this lease and a few other things. And like, she really believes in me. And that's like, I think what it, I, I want more than anything. And it, if it was someone's going to be a manager um, is not necessarily someone that knows that, that, industry but someone that's got my back and is wanting to work with me and 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 rep me and and like that's her to the fullest so that's what's up now, uh, and kentucky's this... turning into a little bit of a, of a hotbed because you got rice and tiller came out of there estg and then of course jack harlow whose new single has been stuck in my head for two weeks thanks to tiktok dude um, that is a banger uh, though i do like I it was, but it's, it's like fucking it hilarious because i was talking to my best friend that I, i'm moving up there to fucking and she's like she's like my cousin does jack harlow's makeup and shit i'm like shut the fuck up <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like what like I don't, I don't know i feel like that's why i feel like i have some opportunities where i'm going compared to where i have here like i'm i'm, I'm i know florida is a hotbed for places like that too but like uh i just feel like where i'm going i'm going to be in a better mindset for it all too so yeah. kentucky's the new la they say yeah so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, way cheaper so I think that's with, you going to, with you going to kentucky is there going to be any kind of you know bluegrass remy coming out in the horizon <laughs> uh <laughs> probably not no I, I actually country music is one of my least favorite uh genres <laughs> So That's prob- probably not. Are but, you? Uh, you never uh, really know. You know. Uh, <laughs> look at look at Post Malone and shit nowadays. So. <laughs> sure. Yeah, he's all over the place. Yeah. Uh, are you born and raised Florida? Yeah. Yeah. So are you, okay. Are you ready for these Midwest winters? You're about to move. <laughs> you ain't ready. In the, in the thick of it. Like right not, now, it's been even, bro. pretty and reasonably weather wise, but I'm, the yeah, time I'm gonna be moving up. Down. I have two weeks, but to to figure this shit out and get up there. And I'm going to be going up right in the middle of all of it, like when it's starting to get cold. And um, yeah, I've ne- I think so. Like, like I don't, I don't mind cold so much. I like the cold, but I've never had. To oh, deal Dylan with was grinning when you mentioned cold. I don't think you. Uh... No, that's the thing. I've never had to deal with snow cold. I've deal. I've had to deal with Florida cold. And I and I I don't. I we. I always feel like we don't get enough winter here. <laughs> uh, no. But it's pro- it's obviously it's not the same. My biggest concern is actually driving it's not really like the living in it or like having to like, I'm sure it's going to suck. I'm, I have no doubts about it, but I just, uh, driving scares me quite a bit. It ain't, yeah. It'll be all right. Yeah. All, all three of us are professional drivers for real. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. anyway, I drive trucks. So like, oh, oh, it's good. not the, yeah, it ain't that big a deal. Just slow down. You know what I mean? Give yourself yeah. extra time, extra oh, yeah. space. I mean, your first experience obviously is going to be like, holy shit, this is, you know, well, a little sus, but yeah, yeah, it's not. You just obviously can't be going seventy mile an hour when there's three inches of snow on the ground. But. Yeah, um, I mean, you someone, can, someone but... and I don't think it's like that at all. Someone in my live was like, "Oh, it's like when it like crazy heavy rains," uh, and I'm like, "I don't know if that's like." <laughs> no, it's not. One hundred percent not like that at all. <laughs> It's like you know, in the really bad rain here, you can't see two feet in front of you. It's it's crazy, but I don't think it's anything similar. <laughs> so you said you got two weeks. Do you have a place lined up yet, or are you still uh, in the midst for of the application right now? Um, okay. We so because Veterans Day like threw in a wrench. In, they they I was supposed to hear from them on Friday about the application. But they were like, we're pretty sure the application place is closed for the um, Veterans Day observance. So uh, they said that I won't hear till Monday. But I, I, I mean, I don't have anything on my background check that should be a worry. And I think my income aspect is okay. So that's the only those that's the only thing I'm really like worried is they're going to be like you don't make enough like <laughs> mm. so but other than that like uh i i'm feeling good about it and as long as that and if that doesn't work out i do have like two other places lined up in my back pocket it just means that now i have a week to figure it out versus what i thought was going to be you know to, uh, me yeah just, man and like i was saying earlier like you just you just got into this house yeah, luckily like, I didn't unpack. Moving fully. sucks ass. Yeah. <laughs> gonna, yep. Dude, I moved three times a year and I said never again. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. Now you're moving across. You know, across. Well, not across country. I'm gonna move all them far. damn snakes. <laughs> uh, the biggest. So gonna eat on the way there. <laughs> I can't fully um, like prepare the pod situation because because I, I think the only way to move across country is to get a pod. I don't think there's like. Getting a U-Haul is not an option for a 14-hour trip from here to Kentucky. And then hiring somebody, I've heard, is is not only expensive as hell, but then sometimes they try to, like, hijack your shit and be, like, halfway through. Be like, oh, it's going to cost more now. Um, so, like, I'm like, Fucking I'm good. Somalian road pirates. Yeah, hell, yeah, man. yeah. I've heard, some, I've heard some stories lately. Trust me. So, I, but I've looked into the pod company, but I think you have to – have a location that the pod's going to for them to do it. So like they'll drop off the pod here, then they know where it's going. And then mm. they give you an estimate on like b- the distance and the time that you're going to need it for and blah, 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 blah. So I kind of like this, this application is holding me back from that. So a pod just for the snacks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going yeah, to I'm gonna have to go through the freezer. There ain't no way I'm taking anything cold with me except for maybe drinks. So but uh, at least at least the snack, the, the dry snacks I can pack up. So based on my purge. own personal experience, uh, I would stay away from Penske. So Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they Give gave me a, a truck. The extremely short version. If <laughs> the extremely short version long yeah, long story short, they gave me a truck uh, with not enough def fuel. Um, only I, I kind of did the same thing, Florida to Ohio, but mm-hmm. uh, I only made it to like Midway, Alabama. Burned up the def fuel tank. Uh, they have to give me a whole new truck, so I had to fit everything in a 22 foot truck into a 16 foot truck, and uh, basically turned a 16 hour drive into a 38 hour drive. <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was pretty oh, problematic. Bro. Long story short, got all my money back. So <laughs> yeah, fuck, dude, that's. Insane. Twenty dollars yeah. worth of death. Fuck your whole yeah. weekend up. He's like, yeah, it should get you to Ohio. Fucking not even halfway through Alabama. <laughs> oh my lord. I'm like, what you is know, that? Like four hours in? When, 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 he, when he told you you should get there, you should have been mm-hmm. waiting immediately. Yeah, what do you mean? They by should that? fucking probably give out trucks that are topped out in fuel. Yeah. So. This is before uh, you're a, a driver. I'm guessing. Yeah, I didn't even know what death was, so I was like, all right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the keys. I gotta go. Should be sick. See ya. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm excited. You can, like pull out a lot. It shuts down. Oh, what the fuck, man. Yeah. Um, but uh, Remy, I don't. I don't know. We we do a thing. Dylan, what do you got in the middle this week? Uh, I got a few topics. Probably like four or five topics. Okay, it's up to you because I know we're getting towards the end of it. Uh, if you got stuff to do, no, uh, I'm we, good. You know, we can, I'm, I'm here you do, for but the ride. Dylan, we do a thing called Around the Middle of Dill every week where we talk about that week's, I don't know, pop culture topics, whatever popped in the news. And then, you know, if you want to stay and we'll, we'll, you know, we can give your opinion on some of the stuff, yeah. um, more than welcome. But so, Dylan, let's, uh, let's jump in the mill. <laughs> Every you gotta fucking do it for Joe time. time. <laughs> every goddamn time. I but saw yeah, I saw some younger pictures of you guys in there, eh? Yeah, yeah we've oh, been yeah. doing this for, for about four years. So Damn. a little bit, yeah. Yeah. It's been fun. Been recording everywhere back when I was in Florida, recorded in a closet. So yeah. making big changes now. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh this week around the mill got four topics um that I kind of put together here a couple are sports related and all that fun stuff but uh, as in recent news with the ncaa football biggest news out there is michigan and their cheating scandal of stealing signs and basically getting caught doing what every other football team is probably doing out there they kind of did it to an extreme extent uh, with one of their guys um, actually being on the sidelines for other teams and dressing up and all that kind of stuff and shenanigans but i digress <laughs> That's crazy yeah, so uh, Jim Harbaugh, he is suspended uh, three games, uh, but it's oddly enough they're allowing him to coach at practices, but he just can't be at the games, I guess. So uh, that does affect the biggest rivalry in sports, Michigan versus Ohio State, which is kind of a lot of Ohio State fans are saying that they're disappointed in that uh, they can't have that Jim Harbaugh, Ryan Day 
um, interaction at the end of the game to make the result. going to be on the phone. You already know that. He's been calling plays from the parking lot. Uh, or, yeah, I mean, could be. Or he's going to be dressing up in costume, just like the <laughs> one guy was for Central Michigan. So he's just being My favorite thing was today they played Penn State. They right. won. And the guy that took over coaching while Harwell was suspended had this like post game speech and he was crying and shit and is like acting like Jim Harbaugh died and it's like you just suspended because you guys got caught cheating like what are you crying for man yeah like, I don't know I mean the the Big Ten I don't they they did it like I think yesterday so I mean I thought that was kind of odd see his like, ass on Monday like, what's he worried about yeah but I don't know I mean yeah if you get if you get caught you gotta do the crime man I mean it happened to Ohio State back when they were doing all that shit about. Because players sold like some of their game worn pants to get like free tattoos and shit, and before NIL, NCAA would crack down on that. So they like um, took back a bunch of Ohio State's wins from that season, and then like suspended their coach, and it was a whole fucking thing. So like, yeah, you get caught with you know whatever, you know you're gonna do some some shit. So unfortunately, uh, that's what happened with them. And yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm good with beating Michigan no matter what, but. Obviously, if we do it, the whole thing the Michigan fans will do is we didn't have our head coach and blah blah blah. So that's I mean that's kind of the reason why I think Ohio State people want would want him there. So there's no like excuses or whatnot. But yeah, that's no whatever. excuse. I don't care. I uh, think either way that there was going to be a divorce, kind of a little bit of divorce between Ohio or uh, Michigan and Jim Harbaugh anyway, because it just seems like every year he's gravitating closer and closer to going back to the NFL. Yeah, and I think like Chicago is really like starting to. Um, you know, try to make a push for him, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, no excuse for Michigan though. Cleveland Browns beat Pittsburgh in a playoff game without their head coach. He was sitting in a basement at home, so I don't want to hear about any of it. Uh, in other news, we do have Adam Twenty Two, uh, more famously knowing or Jeez. letting his wife fuck a uh, uh, BBC. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> and uh, you say it like that. He's <laughs> <laughs> Any other way? I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's accurate. I mean, yeah, 100. Like, but we only share facts much, here. Very much of BBC. <laughs> yeah, we're all facts here on TSP. Um, Adam 22 is now apparently creating a reality TV show where the winning contestant gets to sleep with his wife. So, yeah, guess, Joe, one of the contestants is Crip Mac. So I'm really hoping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> oh, I'm pushing. I'm pulling for him. I hope he wins. Big booty man. sitch. <laughs> I just want to know what channel idiot. is airing this. Is it going to be more of like a they got like YouTube, a, a HBO, like an OnlyFans type deal? So they're probably going to air it on there or something, or to try because I don't think that you can monetize the, like YouTube's not going to let a fucking show like that fly, <laughs> right? Yeah. Do they have so, that kind of shit on OnlyFans? I'm like, I know of it, but I've never like post whatever you want on there. It yeah. I mean, there's there are people on there that don't post like. Sex shit. They on, they're, they're one of the bigger like content creation things for OnlyFans is like chicks who rate dudes dick pics. So they don't they don't even they don't even do anything sexual. They just sit there and yeah. give dick pics and they're like, oh, it's like a ten leg. And that so. <laughs> all right, that's crazy, man. I mean, I twenty two. Like, like a whole new man. genre of things I didn't know about. All right. <laughs> so many different ways to make money. I it's think because uh, th like those guys like they they host some show I, I believe on their OnlyFans where like they'll interview. Uh, a female that's in the industry and then at the end they have like a threesome so the wife must have decided all right you've had how many different females like this year <laughs> I'm, I'm doing my thing and he seems to be okay with it i don't know because the ratio is like 300 to one <laughs> you know he's like yeah. whatever yeah. well the guy that she was with almost evens it out just off off the one <laughs> the one there but what was that dude's name i don't remember but yeah, wild, dude. Not that into that shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah that would wild, be a wild, uh, a wild reality TV show. Mm -hmm. um, I hope Crip be, Mac yeah, wins. Yeah, I, I, oh god! I think Adam Twenty Two is hosting it on top of everything. <laughs> yeah. else. That's the like my wife. <laughs> fuck my wife. It's That's such, a, it's such cuck a weird shit. cuck. Is he going on like yeah. dates with them and stuff? I don't understand. It's the like. third wheel cuck. <laughs> Sitting in, like a booth across the restaurant, watching <laughs> him on a date and shit. <laughs> Just all creepy. You'd think as much shit. I mean, obviously, he wrecked in the dough. Both of them, uh, I think her name's Lena the Plug and Adam22, definitely wrecked in the dough because they were just the talk of the town uh, when that came out. And, I mean, hate 
hate it or not, I mean, find it hilarious, obviously, but he was getting a lot of hate on his own podcast, but the financial gains were probably outweighing that. Yeah. And he, I mean, now uh, this is, this uh, is born and he's probably only going to benefit from it as well, even though they're in that business. So you just like get to the point where you make so much money. You're like, man, eh, whatever. This is what I'm into now. The, the wall, like they have a kid and like, obviously she's going to find this stuff out eventually. So that's just going to be, or like, you'd imagine like middle school like or school, junior yeah. high. Yeah. 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 Look at this is your mom's butthole. <laughs> you know, like yeah. imagine how easy it would be to tease somebody. How many dads do you the, have? <laughs> I got the birds, <laughs> the birds and the bees, the birds and the BBCs. Oh so. my god. There he is. Young <laughs> what we got next, man? Uh how much money of your own money would you wager on a single bet? Like five dollars. Like a bet or what what's yeah, say so you feel uh, super confident about it. How much money you throwing on that bet? What, uh, what's your max dollar? Like 100 bucks. bucks for me. Yeah. 100 bucks, 50 bucks. Let's try 1 million doll hairs. That's right. A better placed a 1 million dollar bet on some action for the Kent State of all teams. Kent State to cover the plus 10 and a half against Bowling Green State University. They lost by 30. So that guy <laughs> lost a million dollars on his single stroke. How bet. stoned do you got to be to be like, yeah, that's a good idea? <laughs> oh, uh. So he must have fat fingered a couple zeros in there or what? Oh, but shit. Kudos that's... to him to even having that kind of bankroll. Well, the thing is, if he's betting a million, he's probably got a hell of a lot more than that in the bank, yeah. I assume. Or unless he made some grave ass mistake. But yeah. <laughs> even then, like, you, got, you still have to have the money to back. The bet up, so I liquidated my company it's for like this. What? The Astros has that guy, the mat- mattress Mac. Well, this yeah, is I feel like, like if you have to, if you make a million dollar bet, you have to be able to like prove you got it, right? <laughs> you, yeah, you, 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 have to it. you can't even yeah. bet without like you have to have it already uh, deposited. Yeah, it's nuts. I couldn't believe wow. that. Made me feel better about myself. Yeah, if you know, you know. So. Las Vegas. Fucking degenerate gambler, you. <laughs> <laughs> Las Vegas. They have uh, recently implemented a a uh, sphere downtown Las Vegas Strip. And uh, it has been the pinnacle of the talk of town. And I think it's like one of a kind. Fuck. Right? Yeah, it's sweet looking, though. Yeah, yeah we, just, really we talked about it making uh, Monica's hip joint last week into the Las Vegas sphere. Oh, and the thing, yeah. Yeah, last, it looks cool though. Podcast. The videos and shit they're doing on it look awesome. The inside looks awesome. I don't know. Yeah. This is in it's, Vegas? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's in, in Vegas, the Las Vegas sphere. It's nuts, um, man. You gotta like Google it and take a look, man. It's pretty yeah, well. Like con- I think it's like a concert venue. I'll have to yeah. Yeah, when you know when I meet Keith Lee, that's where we'll go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's decked out in millions of Dude. LED lights and they have different kinds of um uh, I don't even know. They they show a bunch of shit on there. It's like a giant TV. So, but what's not cool is the financial side of things. And it has recorded a $100 million loss in the first quarter of operation. So bad that the CFO has resigned. (laughs) So, not a good start. I know most companies go under in the first few months before they rise. You know, they hit rock bottom before they go up when they first start. But this is a a substantial loss, over $100 million. So, I don't know what they're projections were but it was a, it was operating costs must be through the roof mm-hmm. i mean the electric bill alone i would imagine yeah yeah for sure but i mean Damn. i just don't think it's been i think i've only seen one concert in there at least like shown on uh i don't know i forgot who performed it's in there was fucking like YouTube, YouTube or something like man. yeah youtube who, who, who watches yeah, i mean I don't know. all these people keep thinking that like you two is like the wave or something like remember when apple did that shit to everyone i was gonna say every, i haven't trusted them since they did that like, shit with apple they fucking just put that youtube spyware on my phone <laughs> that was youtube awesome. virus they just need to get more in like not just youtube obviously but more concerts i mean the the capabilities that they have, with, especially with all the LED lights, not only on the outside, but the inside as well. They were making the entire yeah. room look like all they enclosed. All they need to do with... is just, just have like two Taylor Swift concerts in that bitch, and they'll be running in the green Oof. in no time. True. One True. Taylor Swift concert. 
You kidding me? Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Those Swifties are a damn cult, man. Hey, yeah, yeah they, for real, for real, yeah. It's it's insane. But yeah, that, that's uh, that's it for around the mill. Okay. You imagine doing know. so bad at your job, you're just like fucking them out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was just a hundred million. My bad. Yeah. Anyways, I, I heard Coca Cola's hiring. <laughs> just fucking leaves. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's fucking. Uh, can I get a letter of recommendation for you guys? <laughs> get a letter. Get the fuck out of here. Go to them. Hundred million dollars negative. Remy, man. Um, before we get you out of here, I want you to, yeah. to plug all the socials, the 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 TikTok page, music, how they can, the Discord, yeah, and, um... you know, how they can get in touch with you and all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, Remy for all. Uh, Remy, the number four, A L L, the snack guy on, on all social medias uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. Um, I don't really post on my Facebook only fans. Or YouTube. Uh, yeah, my only fans coming soon. O- only snacks. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the music though is Remy for all, no snack god part. But uh, I, yeah, that's on um, you know Spotify, iTunes, everywhere you can listen to music, YouTube, and all that jazz. Pa- Pandora, even who who uses Pandora anymore? Uh, if you want to like hit me it. up in an, yeah, uh, if you want to hit me up in an email though, uh, the Remy for all at gmail.com If you need, if you want me to to jump on a song, or uh, you're trying to get me to promote a product, or you got a snack that you you're trying to get launched or something like that, I'd, I'd love to help. So uh, and I, and and same with music. I don't really. I'm not in a position to charge for features, but uh, if you got a banger of a song, like I'll, I'll jump on there, man, and I'll see what I can do for it. So for as long as I'm vibing, man, I, yeah, and I, and I very much appreciate you guys uh, having me on and, and letting me plug my stuff and everything too. So it's great time. Dude. Mm-hmm. It's, it's been a pleasure getting to, to chat it up with you. Like I said, been a fan of your content for quite a while, and um, it seems like you know 24. There's going to be some some big time things coming on the music side. So excited yeah. to see. How that works out, and uh, you know, we're happy to have you here in the Midwest with us. So, um, yeah. who knows? Kentucky's just a state. We're all in Ohio. I was say, so Ohio's not that far. Me, so we'll see. And I seen actually because I went to that that Sweetie candy store in Cleveland that you went to. That yeah. place is fucking sick, dude. I try yeah, to go there um, once a year. The one place that I want to go the most in Ohio is Jungle Gyms in Cincinnati. Dude, it's there's two of them. The one is way better than the other. Oh yeah. One of them is kind of like a. It's still cool. They got all the shit, but the other one uh, is, is the Cincinnati, the one, the big one. Yeah, they're both in Cincinnati. Oh, okay. Yeah, but uh, the one is off the wall, dude. Like they've got, like the fish section's got a damn boat in it, like a boat, not yeah. like, like well, a picture of a guy, boat. He does his what own podcast place? in in the the uh, store. Like he has his own like studio. Yeah. And then, like, they got they a so movie on, theater in it. Yeah. They're so on top of their ordering. They have, like, the newest products before anybody every time. So, is this like a grocery store or what? what are yeah, we uh, yeah. Yes, but more insane. But it has, like, like, you can buy fish. Like, what? I don't. You can buy everything. everything. They have, everything. like, you know, you know, you see, oh, <laughs> the, the, the Jones's soda, like, bacon flavor. They have every one they've yeah. ever made. That's on the shelf, that, that sweetie, the BA sweetie place, they got okay. or like yeah, uh, BA is nuts too. Yeah, mm-hmm. the the hot sauce isn't just like an aisle or a shelf; it's a section. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like five or six of them. You know what I mean? Five or six aisles of whatever you want. You want your butthole to catch a fire? Get this one. You want this yeah. sweet one? They got that one. You know, it's nuts. Were one of your people like in your crew there? Are they from Ohio? Is that why you guys were in Cleveland, or what was? The... Yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, the Snack Network is is in uh, Ohio. So yeah, that was okay, why. Because cool. we went. The whole reason we went up there was to do uh, Snacktacular. And there was like a uh, a live stream event. We all kind of got together. Like there's a like probably like 20, 30 snack creators all together. We went to a bunch of different grocery stores in uh, Cleveland and everything, including BA Sweeties and um, yeah, it was it was such a good time. And I I wanted to go to Jungle Gyms when I was there. But it was like a 30, 40 minute like offshoot from where we were going. And then like it would have been 30, 40 minutes back to, you know, backtrack mm. to where we were going. So and then when I was coming home, I was going like the complete opposite direction. I was like, Ugh. <laughs> so, yeah. well, Cincinnati's basically in Kentucky. So, yeah, uh, yeah. So where, where I'm going to be in Kentucky, I think since he's like two hour drive. So, there you yeah, go. 
I'm excited to explore more sheets too, because uh, as soon as you get in Ohio, it's like sheets everywhere. So oh, I'm excited. Yeah. Well, it's kind of be a little bit, yeah. little bit far from us, but we're getting a Bucky's in Ohio, which I'm pretty stoked about. Nice. So I'm a on it, but it's yeah, over. But I, mean, it's I went to Bucky's like when Cleveland. I was in Atlanta. Also a fucking a, 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 insane, overwhelming. You just it, yeah I, yeah. <laughs> I want to definitely check it out, man. It just seemed like they got like I want to try all the barbecue shit. Yeah. Are we at Jungle Gyms pulled yeah, up? Dude. Yeah. Like this. Well, this looks like a a zoo grocery yeah. store. Chucky. E. Dude, it's how the, the one. Oh, so the oh. one's in Fairfield, and the other one's actually in Cincy, but they're all like right there. Like, That's click nice. on uh like one of those. Yeah, yeah. like look at. I mean, insane. it's like what is that soy sauce? There's like a whole aisle of the shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like they've got um. Uh, like whatever, like nationality type of food you want. Yeah, they got it. Everything and the newest yeah, they products. They always mm-hmm. have. If there's a new energy drink or a new prime or anything, they always get it first because they're on top of their their ordering and stuff. So That's crazy. Yeah, look at that one. I think that was beers. We have uh, like. somebody in my Discord that lives like 15, 20 minutes away from Jungle Gyms, and they're always posting stuff. And every time I'm like, where did you find that? And they're like, Jungle Gyms. I'm like, son of a bitch. What is, like, what is, since he's, what, four hours from us, Joe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not that far. We were, I only know about that place because we went there uh, on vacation. I didn't even know what it was. Yeah. We went to uh, like the Shed Aquarium and some other shit down there. Oh, uh, this is two hours and 55 minutes for me. Hey... It has to be fair, bad, man. Yeah, it is. that's the fair. You want to go to the Cincy one? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. The, not that the other one doesn't. It's not. Well, no. Yeah, I want to go. All the shit. Yeah, I'm gonna go. It's not I, as crazy. Go the, the main, the main Big thing. Account, yeah. Listen, you know, uh, our time. I'll be up there in two weeks. You know, we can plan something. We all meet up. We go to the jungle gyms. Eight, all right. Hey, man. I think that might have to be the plan once you once you're settled in and shit. Because uh, yeah, it's just about three hours. So that's not terrible. Like that's something you could do. You know, leave in the morning or something, we can still get back. I'll do a hundred down there. We'll get That's there quick. <laughs> Let's do it, man. I think we've we've done one TSP trip up, up to Michigan, to see our boy Walt. So I guess we'll have to do another one to go down to That'd be cool. Jungle Gyms here with Remy and, and do a, yeah. a snack hunt, man. Make it official. And you you saying Ohio's gonna be recreational soon. So like I'm like extra game, you know. So oh, yeah, God. cross over and get you. <laughs> He's gonna get stone and go to Jungle Gyms, get fucking lost in there. Yeah. You could probably live yeah, in there, right. honestly. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need about 10 cabinets but uh remy man <laughs> this has been incredible dude seriously uh thanks again for coming on yeah and um yeah we'll definitely come because we drop this on monday so we'll be sure to uh have all the socials and stuff in there we usually tag some clips throughout the week so we're gonna hopefully drive some, some people towards you you got you got any clips that you uh you want me to post man send them my way i'll post some shit on tiktok for sure so you got it man it'll be awesome yeah Okay. So I'm down. Well, uh, thank you, man. We'll uh, we'll be in touch. All right, guys. Be safe. Have a good night. Thanks. Thanks for having yes, me. Sir. Seriously, it we'll was it was a great time. Hundred percent, sir. Man. All right, man. Little. See ya. All right, man. And that was Remy the Snack Guy, dude. Just as uh, same dude as he is on on uh, on camera and stuff. That was awesome. He's a really cool, dude. Really Not a shithead. Make, make that uh, happen. Yeah, like I said. Um. He just he put off that vibe, so I'm glad he lived up to how I thought he would be. He's definitely like that. Hopefully, and I, I'm game. If if, 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 if 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 he's for real, and once <laughs> he gets to Kentucky, this ghost energy got me going crazy. But um, <laughs> after the holidays, I'm out, down man. though that for real. Looks like yeah, 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 absolutely. I, I, hopefully, maybe even like we'll because he's got to get settled in and shit. So maybe even like after we after get his first spin out in winter, the snow. Yeah, maybe like. <laughs> <laughs> early spring or something but we'll poor guy see. um because you know how it is around here anymore november and december are going to be pretty mild and then january February we get fucking dumped on so um but i keep hearing i don't know the almanac saying we're about to get i, I think you told us that like the farmer's almanac mm-hmm. or something said we're about to get fucking shit on so we'll see and then i hear I the other way as well so who knows yeah. dude you know how it goes around here i definitely want to check it out absolutely that place looks incredible that'd be a lot of fun we haven't done a um a little tsp trip since I think what two or a year Shit, ago, we can pick year, up uh, fucking goofball on the way down there too. Yeah, we'll drive right through there on the way. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, I oh, am. Yeah. There we go. 
Okay, but uh, I mean, yeah, I'm right off seventy five. So we could have a sleepover because that's gonna be far enough that we could do that. Yeah, man, we have a sleepover at Delos with the DYLF. <laughs> Watch him fucking punch some walls when his bets don't hit. That's I want to. I want to see it in person. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Do the drywall. This is sick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> One fucking yard. <laughs> Flips his fucking desk. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I'm so excited Boy, for that. You guys need to go. <laughs> we didn't All do right. it. <laughs> yeah. He's fucking unhinged in here. Oh, Speaking shit. of. Dilo, um, we didn't hit this past Monday, unfortunately. No. Um, <laughs> no. You want to get into that? Yeah, we fucked no. up. No, the data was there, and uh, I mean, Garrett Wilson hit. He got his 50 yards, and uh, we just needed 25 there from Eckler, and, uh, you know, he only got 23. So that's... Uh, them the breaks is what they say so unfortunately that's just how it all ended up being and uh that's how that's just you know that, that's how it ends up being all the time usually it feels like that's why you see me flipping tables punching walls right and uh <laughs> you ever think about taking medication bro <laughs> no Jesus it ain't that Christ. it ain't that bad i mean it ain't that bad it sucks but you know i win sometimes not all the time but when i do win i make sure that i lose my winnings so there's a what? There it is. <laughs> yeah, there's that. So let's try immediately fuck it up. I don't let's see. Yeah, I don't uh, have a graphic. What's that? Well, I mean, you at least got to play the the little intro video yeah. for the R.I.P. Dylan's Monday bet, but we bet on Monday <laughs> game bet. Yeah, I don't got a graphic for this week, but we'll still we'll still hit the intro here, and I'll give you something I I like, and I'll probably be tailing. Uh, later in the week here. It's time for the d Lock of the Week. That's right, baby. The Lock of the Week. Is it the Lock? I don't even know anymore. Not really. Not according to the record. So we're just burning hundies over here. And uh, so... I'm going to go with a little bit of action. We were talking some action uh, there in the around the mill, and we got a big rivalry, all right, in around uh, the northwest part of Ohio here, the Battle of I-75 this Wednesday in the Doit of BG, uh, Toledo versus Bowling Green State University. Uh, I got a lean and a, a play, I guess, that I'm going to be working on here. So I do like this matchup here. Toledo is really good. They're pretty good. I think they have a corner. I can't think of his name right now, but he is going to be possibly a second round draft pick in the NFL. Uh, so what's the spread? Because I'm going to hammer. I'd hammer Toledo on that. They're going to skull fuck BG. I, I don't know about that because BG is also. I mean, they can hold their <laughs> hold their own, especially. Oh it's, it's yeah, ten and a half. I, and I, I'll be saying at the end of the show. Yeah, I showed, I yeah, showed my wife that clip. <laughs> Yeah, ten and a half right now. So <laughs> he's like, "What the hell is that?" I'm like, I don't know, bro. It's a new thing. We just call fuck around here, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Open up. <laughs> so, yeah, the TSP. Um, yeah, that's what we do. So the BGSU Toledo game is ten and a half. Um, BGSU plus ten and a half. I think is at minus one fifteen. Let me look here. Yes. So it is at minus one fifteen for plus ten and a half. I do like that play for them to cover. But what I like even more is going to be the over. I like the over here at forty six and a half. Um, I do think that's going to uh, hit. I think it's hitting the three of the last four matchups that they had. Um, obviously, they're completely different teams from then. But uh, also, if we're going to be looking at the stats here, that. Uh, the over has hit five of the last, or they're five and four in the over. So they're hitting over more than not. Um, I'm going to go with the over 46 and a half. That is going to be my D low lock of the week for the Maction Wednesday and night. You're, in you're the also Doit. taking BG plus 10 and a half. I do like them. I don't think that's my lock, though. My lock is going to be over 46 and a half. Okay. Over 46 and a half is my official stance on that. I don't have a graphic. Like I said, I'll probably post something Wednesday. Um, on the socials, so make sure you're following us there on the X at TSP underscore 2019. It's on Wednesday? Wednesday night. 
Maction I football. It used to be the Battle of the Peace Pipe, but then they changed it to I-75. <laughs> You're right. You are right. I'm, I'm serious. Really <laughs> Why? Yeah. You are right about that. Well, it's fucking the OBG. Cultural cool story, though. They have, they have a rocket statue at the, obviously, the rocket stadium, and it's point just Glass in a ball. way where they say if they light it and it launched, it would land directly in the center field of the Doit in BG. I don't believe that. Hey. hey. Myths. Run the numbers. Let's see it. They have a rocket statue, like abstract sure. art type metal configuration of what looks like a rocket outside of the Toledo Rocket Stadium. And the rumor has it, if they were to figuratively launch this rocket, obviously they can't, but if they were to launch it, it is directed and pointed in such a way that it would land at the 50-yard line of the Falcon at the this? BG. Hey, I, one of your, you hang out with? One of, one of your bots? No, when I was touring, I was touring there for back in like senior <laughs> high school. One of my you want to check out this rocket does this, but also subscribe for two ninety nine a month. <laughs> you think that rocket's cool? <laughs> this link done. I love. Your I want to see your rocket local singles Shit. in your area. Yeah. No, go fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Shit. laughs> no, but for real though, uh, Toledo's probably going to win this game. <sighs> But BGSU, um, I lean the cover of to plus ten and a half, but I'm going to scoff up the over of forty six and a half. Bill, okay, forty six and a half. Toledo scores points. They give up points. They score points. It's matching and football. Anything can happen on a Wednesday. Isn't that night how the game works? The they score well, points tonight. Nothing, nothing. Well, some score more points than others. I mean, if you look at fucking Iowa, for instance, that offense. Needs a walker just to get on the field. So yeah, they that their over was the lowest of all time, and I don't think they hit it. <laughs> it had it been like, like maybe in the low twenties. Let me see. It's bad. It was the uh, <laughs> spread was twenty seven and a half, and twenty two. <laughs> twenty two. You, you, <laughs> you got some teams out here scoring Imagine that in a quarter. Betting the under. Of 27 and a half and, and hitting it. That's crazy. That is wild. But, in other uh, news, some fat shit. Uh-oh. I uh, I had some pulled pork earlier, and I have this uh, napkin that I've been blowing my nose on, and it smells like that, and it keeps taking me back. Then I sent you a picture of that London broil I made. I was going to briefly you did, discuss I got that. It. If you want to pull it Let's up. see it. Okay. Let's yeah. do it. So these were on sale this week at Krogs. Um, London broil. Um <clears throat> What I did was uh, I marinated it for 24 hours because London broils, they're pretty good. And they can be a very tender piece of meat, but there's not a whole lot of fat to it. So you want to like marinate it and then, um, you know, season it up pretty well. And then even like, I don't know, I even I had like a horseradish and then this uh, it was like 57 sauce, high, like Heinz 57 sauce. So um, it came out really good. I overcooked it a, a slight bit. Um, only, only on the edges, though. In the middle there is, is, was pretty much a perfect medium rare, but right here it's a little closer to medium, but still uh, came out great. And no, that shit sliced like fucking butter. Um, you know, the 24-hour marinade really tenderized the shit out of it, too, which was great. But, uh, man, you can see all those juices on the cutting board as well. I mean, that bitch was fucking spewing. You know oh, I mean? shit. I looked and, in the uh, back. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, it looks like a fucking up. crime scene, baby. Hmm. Um I thought that was the cutting board uh, color. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I did too. I look at the back corner. <laughs> yeah. Good lord! Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, speak yeah, with butter. I got a. I got that meat stain. I meat stained it. <laughs> meat stain. Um, yeah. Served that alongside some some fucking uh, loaded baked potatoes and fucking Kroger. Like this week for two ninety nine, we're selling these eight pound bags of these fucking. I I posted a picture of them on Snapchat. They're like fucking filled with Mondo burgers here. I'm like these things. <laughs> are like fucking softballs. They're humongous, dude. And the, Lori bought a bag. Potato. I didn't know that she bought a bag. So now we have two bags of these fucking shot put fucking potatoes. <laughs> so we got to figure out what to make. Because I don't think they'll last until Thanksgiving. That's like two weeks away. I don't know how long. It'd probably be like just just too long. Dude, I'd be but, making um, french fries, mashed yeah, potatoes, shit, baked potatoes. I, I love a good baked potato. I make them in the... Perfectly in the air fryer now. Potato and skins. Then I did some uh, green beans with some 
with some uh, chopped up bacon, and uh, it was it was a great Saturday night dinner, man. Fucking phenomenal. I, I just I did that just hours before we came on here, so I, I took a little pig. You can see, uh, you know, the little smoke coming off that too, man. It looks it looks great. You talking about great cutting sear. it, dude? I got a, a new uh, meat cleaver and knife. Whew. Dude, invest in those. It makes everything easier. I got this cleaver. Yeah, that's, the, the crazy ooh, thing is, I, I bought a Cuisinart set. They're like fucking. It's like rainbow color. Like each one's a different color and shit. Uh, my guy Sean Ely from Number Six of Cheese. He, he was using them in his videos and posted a link in his shit. I think it's like he had an affiliate link, so I clicked on it and bought it. And it was only like fucking twenty five dollars. And those knives are like the best knives I've ever had. I bought. Mm. I have like a fucking hundred dollars set. Uh, that I bought on, and, and these Cuisinarts are better than those. So um, you're gonna have to get one. I know, from I know your, some of them from the motherland, bro. Those are supposed to be like top tier. Yeah, I know. Some like Japanese fucking, steels, like this shit. Yeah. I wonder. You probably can't fly with those back, huh? You can probably mail it. Yeah, maybe. Because I, I mean, I think if you packed it in your, in your, not your, you know, you're not your carry on, but your other bag, I think you can do that. Yeah, my mom. She just got back. She went there for two weeks. She just got back and brought us a bunch of goodies and shit and. Um, she brought, she bought me this like fucking sign that you got to put out front of your house and it keeps all the bad spirits away. I got to figure out where I'm going to put it. That bitch is heavy, so I don't think I can hang it, but apparently it's got to go outside. So I got to find a spot for it. But, uh, I think that's going to put a cap on a tremendous episode. Had a lot of fun talking to our guy, the fucking snack God. Um, great dude. Definitely going to hopefully build a rapport with him. And uh, that's just another guy, um, another another really cool dude that uh, we got to meet and talk to. Shout out to uh, our guy, Walt. And then shout out to, uh, I just talked to him this week, um, Miguel Jackson. He'll be coming on here in a few weeks. Next week, it's just going to be us boys. And then we're taking the week of Thanksgiving off. And then we'll have uh, our, our guy, Flamingo Jackson, on uh, for the first week of December. And then the week after that, Todd Stahl is coming on, I guess, He's got a big announcement. Um, when we had his brother Chad on, he was discussing some of the stuff him and his brother were doing uh, with um, like uh, grade school wrestling and stuff. And they've got a big Ooh. announcement that they're saving uh, just for our show. So that's pretty exciting. And uh, hopefully we can help nice. uh, you know get the word out on that as well. I have no idea what it is, but they've got some teaser stuff. And they just said they're going to wait until the, uh, uh, Todd's on with us to talk about it. So that'll be pretty stoked. I'm pretty stoked about it. And then, uh, so we'll have those two episodes to, to uh, bring in December. And then we're taking those last three weeks of December off because we got a big event here at the crib, the third annual Hog with Turkey Fry. And then the week after that's Christmas. And then you got New Year's. So um, I kind of decided that it's probably just best to take those three weeks off because um, you, might, you might as well. It's just busiest, really the busiest time of year for most people with Christmas and shit. And then, uh, you know, with New Year's and stuff too, it's kind of a you know weird time. So yeah, I got we'll take wife's those birthday, weeks kid off. birthday. Yeah, I was saying Annalie's birthday we got, and then we got Christmas and you know New Year's. We don't really do anything big, but you know we'll be doing you know we here with the family and stuff. So just enjoy some family time and uh, you know kind of relax a little bit for a few weeks, and then we'll come on for uh, Dylan's big holiday. That first week is uh, January sixth, so you know Dylan's <laughs> gonna be r- ripping and ripping. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that shit. <laughs> that, that first Saturday is uh yeah, January sixth. <laughs> so um maybe we'll get one of those guys on. I don't know. One or one or two of them is probably still out of jail still, right? Maybe I don't know. I'm gonna <laughs> thought about having a tiki torch in my background or I something. Maybe I wish we could try to get that that random ass old lady that, that fucking broke in that she walking around fucking lady. around in yeah. there. <laughs> that was just probably lost. Um, but yeah, so we got some, uh, we got, we got three episodes left and then, um, that's not the end of the season or anything. That's just a little, we're just taking the last little couple weeks of the year off and then, uh, we'll be right back rolling. So, um, I'm, I'm stoked about it. I'm, I, you know, we got a couple of good episodes, so, uh, but, uh, for episode 158, I think that'll do her. Um, before Dylan gets into it, like I said, last week, this, you know, it's a new thing, Joe, we want we want people to subscribe, and then what's what do they gotta do after that? It takes a quick second. Man. Um, you gotta skull fuck that motherfucker. Skull fuck like that button. like button, baby. You know what I mean? <laughs> Mouth fuck it. 
Do what you gotta oh, do. God, it sounds so bad. Fuck, uh, fuck fucking his dirty. mouth. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> this sounds horrific. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's for the algorithms. It's for the algorithms. Yep. So it's for a good cause. It's golf. It's golf oh. for a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get canceled, line. bro. Skull fuck for a good cause. <laughs> know, skull fucking charity going on over here. Yeah, yeah. There's some new shirts right there, John. <laughs> skull fuck for a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> skull for a good cause. Get that us out of here! Oh my <laughs> god! You know what time it is, man? Yes, That's sir, Ski. Oh shit! What oh, an ending! What an hilarious. episode it has been, ladies and gentlemen. Um, if you enjoy this episode, be sure to smash the like or smash the subscribe button. Skull fuck that like button. All for a good cause. And uh, definitely, if you haven't already, be sure to follow us on our social medias: X, YouTube, Instagram is our hot ones Don't right now. It That's going to be what's Don't that? What it is, man? Don't call it X. It's Elon's Twitter. Twitter. It's Twitter. Everyone knows it's Twitter. Is it ever going to go yeah. back to Twitter? I hope so, because mm-hmm. tweets sound better than posts. That's just what everyone so. calls it. Calls it tweets. It, it's X it's true. Just, I don't like. It's it. ingrained yeah. in the system of society. Keep it Twitter. Yep. That's at tsp underscore twenty nineteen. And a huge shout out to Remy the Snack God for joining us. An awesome guy he is. Um, hope to have definitely collab over there at the Jungle's Gym uh, when he gets there in the bluegrass of Kentucky. From myself, Bobby, and Joe, have a wonderful week, friends.